Okay, hi everyone, hello everyone, hi, welcome, <laughs> happy Monday, <laughs> hope you're having a good day so far, I am, you know why, because it today was the first day that it wasn't hot, it's kind of hot right now, it's like in the 80s, but this morning, it was like 65 degrees, I know, it was really fun, <laughs> it was like really fun, so we're, we're kind of beginning um, a more pleasant time of year, and I just, I can't wait. So that's my life update for you. <laughs> Christine with the 66 months, hello. Oh my God. So close to nice number, Christine says. <laughs> also Dana and State of Disgrace and Ava and Tara and Shannon and Watcher, thank you for the subs. It's freezing, I know. Did I wear the peach top on purpose? I did, I did. I just got this shirt too. <laughs> I didn't buy it for this reason. I bought it because I'm doing another sponsored thread up video <laughs> in a couple weeks, but I realized, wait a minute, this is perfect. So now I'm wearing it because it matches the vibes perfectly. Look, anyway, we started building the new peach gen house for our not so berry challenge the other day. When I think about this build, I feel a little stressed. To be honest, I, I look at this and I think, oh God, <laughs> here we go. This should be interesting. It's gonna take us a long time to build this, I fear, but it's okay. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna get through this. It is Tartosa. Yeah, we're playing in Tartosa, the world that came with the wedding pack. Um, and I built this in it, so. Anyway, it's coming along. I, the color scheme is cool. The peachy vibes are cool. We have like a peachy pizza oven. I mean, that's nice. <laughs> What's that in the pool? Oh, it's like a little bit of lowered terrain. Um, so it's kind of like a little stompy splash pad for toddlers to play in. So that's fun also, I guess. <laughs> I have a life update for you all about how the kittens have caused me extreme stress today, okay? You don't understand what I've been through on this day. I'm gonna walk you through it, okay? So number one, I get into my office, all right? And I go to turn my lights on, you know, so I can record. They don't work. They don't work. Nothing I do is working. I'm like trying to reconnect them. I'm trying to unplug and replug the cord into the top of them. I'm like checking everything. The lights are not working, okay? I'm panicking, like why is this happening? I have so much to do. I'm trying to pre-record for TwitchCon. I'm like, I, this is, I can't handle this kind of delay. Panicking. Then I realize the power strip, it's off. The kittens turned the power strip off. So, so they just were not on because the kittens turned the power strip off. So I fixed that and it was fine. Everything's fine. Okay, we're sort of back now. All right, then I go to start recording and I hear no game audio. Nothing is playing out of my headphones. So I'm like, okay, that's not good. Is the cord messed up? Did they eat that too? Like, what did, like, what did you do? Panicking, what's wrong? What happened to it? No, they used some weird button on my mouse that man by like clicking on it or stepping on it or something that changed the audio source to not be my mixer. So I couldn't hear anything because the kittens had changed the mixer. Okay, so that's number two. And then, <laughs> okay, I was gonna record two episodes of my legacy challenge today. I recorded one of them. I was going to immediately record the second one. Somehow, I forgot to save in between them. That's bad. Real bad. Would have been fine, but no. Here's what happened. I started recording the second one. I get like 25, 30 minutes in. I realize, oh my god, my microphone is not working. <laughs> the kittens, the kittens had stepped on the mute button and I didn't notice. So, so like half of that footage was muted and I, I closed the game thinking I'm gonna redo this. It's only 20 minutes. I closed the game. I don't save. Guess what? I didn't save in the first episode either. So now <laughs> I have to redo all of it. And I went back to try and put the first episode back to where I left off and my game kept crashing. <laughs> I would try and come out of cast and it would crash. And then I would do it again, and then it would crash. And it's just like, <laughs> the kittens have caused me three serious tech problems today. <laughs> and they didn't mean any harm. They didn't know. They were just trying to help. But like, 
Anyway, so long story short, uh, my pre-recording for TwitchCon is going really well. <laughs> Everything is totally and completely fine, and pre-recording is going just, just well and just fine for TwitchCon. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we were joking about how the kittens just wanted attention, so they were trying to sabotage me. And they, they did it very successfully, actually. So... <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try and read some subs really quickly. Sorry for talking about cats too long. Uh, Davey and Anna with the subs and fits yet to be inspired with the gifted subs. Tasha and Moose uh, and M Sang and Rafty and Lauren and Jewel and Daisy and Asinine and Addy and Strawberry and Buffy. Uh, we got Ghost and Fab and Cat. I know cats. <laughs> and Lady and, and Heart Alex and Enor and Alex and and Pepe and Frog and Leah and Nico and Natalie and Kitty and Nell and Moth and Jaded and Fleming, Flaming, not Flamingo, sorry. <laughs> Had an O there by accident. And Zimbob and Am and Brandy and Alicia and Black Rose. Thank you all so much, you guys. Uh, Breville, Evie, Brew, Haley, thank you, everyone. When's the Haunted House stream? On Friday, Jonathan, because Friday the 13th. That is my plan. Okay, I have one more thing I want to show you. This is another pat kitten update, and then we'll stop. Um, okay, you're gonna love this. Everyone, let's take a look at this image together. What do you see? Does anything seem weird about this image to you? Do you see anything? Maybe? Anything interesting going on here in this image? <laughs> Cat in the basket. <laughs> You absolutely cannot see her. When her eyes are not there, you cannot see her. There's no way that you would know. I don't understand how she even got in there, but she was in this. It was empty. I don't see how she fit in like the open shelf, but anyway, it made me laugh. So <laughs> I thought you would like that. <laughs> I'm in for it now. You can't even see them when they're hiding. <laughs> there is a cat in this picture challenge. Yeah, if you zoom in enough, you can kind of see the fur. But cats are so funny. No, they weren't next to each other. The other basket has hard drives in it. Shrimp wasn't in the basket. Just Sunny was in the basket, so. Shrimp is not as much of a basket cat as Sunny is. She likes to go in baskets, but he doesn't really do it as much. Simsy, when are you getting your four foot snow dragon? Oh, oh, I, we can talk about this too. Before I went live, the mods chat was going wild just absolutely going wild because they were all talking about this very affordable uh, plushie that my friend Hope was talking about. As you can see, for the low, low price of $1,200, <laughs> you can have a four foot dragon. <laughs> it's a perfectly reasonable purchase and a perfectly reasonable price. Anyway, it's cute. And quite a steal. <laughs> it's only $1,200. I mean, come on. <laughs> anyway, it's really cute. I've never seen one of these plushies before. Um, so we were talking about that. Anyway, that's the life update. <laughs> so cheap, yeah. I'd like a mini one, not a $1,200 four foot one. That's like one month rent. Yeah, but what's more important to you, rent or dragons? Come on. Let's get our priorities straight here, chat. I mean, like, do you want a place to live or do you want a dragon? Obviously a dragon. I mean, come on. <laughs> okay, really quick, while we're sitting here talking, um, I need to put the terrain paint back because believe it or not, guess what? The terrain paint deleted. So, <laughs> Agnes, Faith, Lollipop, Milo, Alec, thank you for the subs, Lottie, Ingrid, Coco, Justice, Toro, Kirstie, Haley, Brayville, thank you everybody. The choice is so clear. <laughs> should we wait until the end to do that? Oh, maybe I should do the terrain paint at the end instead of right now. It just annoys me so much when you have to do it more than once, but 
whatever. Maybe I, maybe I will wait. Let me show you around. Okay, so basically, to catch you all up to speed, uh, a couple days ago, we started building the new Peach Generation house for Not So Berry. Um, the Not So Berry challenge is a legacy challenge where each generation has a different color theme. So there's like green and blue and pink and all this and, and also peach. Um, and so we're trying to make an entire house that is all peach everywhere. <laughs> peach everywhere. Um, and so it's gonna be a little bit excessive. Like you can kind of see from the outside, it's like peach <laughs> everywhere. Peach tiles, peach walls, peach roof. We got peach chairs, we got peach pizza oven, peach everywhere. Um, is kind of what we're working on right now with this. Uh, and then on the inside, we've got three bedrooms upstairs. There's a bedroom downstairs. We're gonna have an office, granny's room. This is the main living space. And we haven't really furnished it yet. We spent a long time figuring out like the floor plan and, and all of that sort of stuff, but we haven't properly furnished it yet. So we've got some work to do there um, to get the peach house a little bit ready. We have like 67, 68,000 simoleons left. Um, we need to be kind of careful about budget. I'm probably not gonna furnish the bedrooms upstairs because I don't have any kids yet. Um, I intend to have three children that will, will have access to these bedrooms, but we don't have any kids. So we're gonna furnish that last um, and then we'll see what we can afford. <laughs> Is the piano permanent? Oh, that means you don't like it. Um, I'm going to have a music room in this area. I don't know if I'm going to use that piano, but we're going to have music um, on purpose because that's one of the rules for Not So Berry. So <laughs> uh, one, of the, one of the rules for this generation, I can show you, uh, is that we have to play an instrument. Oops, I can't click, it's scrolling too fast. Um, you have a peach shirt on? I know, I wore it on purpose. <laughs> um, look, okay, so for the peach generation, we have to marry a coworker, play an instrument, master the gourmet cooking and comedy skills, do the detective career, um, and we have to live in a different world than when we were raised, so we're moving to Tartosa. We have to have the foodie, lazy, and goofball traits, we're a joke star aspiration, so we have to do the comedy career and the detective career in this generation, um, which is gonna take us a while, so. Lots to do and lots to think about, which will be fun. Um, okay, anyway. <laughs> so that catches us, catches us back up to speed. Um, you would just say flip the piano. Okay, so Kate, I, I haven't placed a piano yet. Don't worry. <laughs> this piano is just there because we're we were like marking out rooms. I have deleted the other furniture that I was using to mark out rooms, but I was like putting a random couch down so I could see if it fit and stuff like that. We haven't actually placed the piano, so we don't need to worry about that too much yet, okay? Um, <laughs> let's not worry about it too much. You like the upright one better because the vast majority of home pianos are uprights? Yeah, but like this is one of the times where we could actually make do with a grand piano. Like maybe in real life, an upright piano makes more sense, but in the house where we have a dedicated piano room, um, this might be one of the only times that we can actually make a grand piano work. But I haven't decided yet. Again, you guys, this is literally just there. <laughs> I don't know why it's become a whole issue. <laughs> It's just there as like a, a furniture marker. It's the same as me putting like a random bed and a random couch to be like, oh, I'm gonna have the living room look like this. You know? So we're like laying out things and thinking about it. We're placeholders, okay? <laughs> we're really panicking about this piano and we're not even- <gasps> No, no, I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this today, you guys. I can't. <sighs> oh my god. My game has already crashed like four times today. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is gonna push me over the edge. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. We're gonna be fine. We're reopening the game. Just breathe. Just breathe. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Aura, Soon, and Furry, and Toby, and Mama, and Pep, and my step, and Stargazer, and Lily, and Petite, and Star, and Jody, and Rose, and Little Dika. Thank you all for the subs, you guys. I can't believe this just happened to me. <laughs> okay. Resume. What did you walk into? Oh my god, my game crashed. Why does it crash so much? I. It doesn't normally. Today's been a weird day. It's been having some problems today, so I don't know. 
Um, I play The Sims a lot, and today is a, a rare day of uh, worse than usual crashing. <laughs> so. That's true, my computer does load it pretty quickly. Um, this is stressful, you need to buy a dragon to make yourself feel better. I gotta be honest, you guys. I, I don't know if I can think of a single thing that would make me feel worse than spending over a thousand dollars on a dragon. <laughs> I don't I don't know if there's a single thing that could make today worse than spending a thousand dollars on a dragon. I don't know if that's for me. <laughs> it might be a cute dragon, but <laughs> that's a, a little too expensive. <laughs> okay, well we didn't do anything aside from the stupid terrain paint, but I'm gonna wait until the end to do that anyway, so. That's fine. That is fine. Okay, I was gonna make this room into like a little storage closet. So maybe I shall do that now before we get too far ahead of ourselves. Yeah, that could be nice. I hate you. I really mean that. Sims 4, you are not my favorite game. Okay. <laughs> so by storage closet, I kind of was thinking about putting like some of the brooms from laundry day and like the decor box and that sort of thing in here. Um, anyway, yeah, the bare light bulb. That's kind of what I was thinking too. Feels like it makes sense. Bucket from Horse Ranch? Yeah, like a bucket, maybe? I don't know. Or this bucket, because it's got like cleaning supplies in it. Anyway, this is mostly just to fill up space. People were suggesting before that I make a fake laundry room. <laughs> but to that I respond, no, no, no. <laughs> I don't want to deal with that. So, anyway, it's the closet. I don't want to have, um, I don't want to have laundry. I don't want to even risk having laundry. This might be good. Simple, subtle, uses up the space, has what we need, you know. Makes sense. It makes sense. Is this peach? Yeah, we're building the peach that I'm not so very right now. Okay, we're gonna have to start this over from scratch too. Let's be so brave. Are we ready? Are we ready? Yeah, I wish laundry, it's not even that laundry is that buggy because it it's not the worst thing in The Sims. It's just that like, I know, I know myself and I will not do it. <laughs> I will not do the laundry. I can't be trusted with basic chores in my Sims game. It's why I can't use a regular litter box. I have to use the laser, the laser litter box in the Sims. I I can't have a washer dryer because they can't have laundry spawning. Like I, I know myself and I don't take care of my Sims house enough. I We've got enough chores to do in real life. Like I scoop litter every day constantly in real life. I've got a million cats in this house. You think I want to scoop litter in the Sims? No. You think I want to fold laundry in the Sims? No. <laughs> I, I know myself and I won't do it. <laughs> Why is there a random curtain in the middle? Uh, it's like a, it, it's me saving it so I remember to use it later. Same thing with that. It's me saving it so I remember to use it later. You know? Anyway. Need a robot litter box? In real life? No, I don't find it that bad to have to take care of the litter boxes. Um, the robot litter box is like a million dollars. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Kira, Nate, Brooklyn, Emmy, thank you for the subs. What backsplash is that? Oh, this is the, it's one from high school years. Okay, I'm gonna start the kitchen now, chat. Let's focus. So there was talk about using, originally we talked about this sort of pinky color on the kitchen cabinets. Um, cause it's kind of, I don't know, it's pink. It's not really peach, but that was an idea. And then we talked about beige as well. Just because it might match better with what we've got up there. I don't know. That's kind of like a gray. I'm not really sure. 
Um, I think the peak doesn't really match that well. But we'll see. You think beige is better? You think pink is better? Yeah, this is the problem. It's hard to say. It's hard to know for sure what's best. Um, okay, I don't know. Let me look at the new pack stuff. Beige is a better match for peach. Yeah, I. that's kind of my thought as well. We're going to have to discuss this a lot today. But the thing about peach, right, is that peach is... <laughs> it's not like the most immediately obvious color. Like when you hear peach, you think orange, you think pink, you like there's so many, so many different things that peach can be. Um, and that makes it kind of difficult to achieve <laughs> in The Sims. So, so it's not going to be like exactly right all the time everywhere. It's not like the most obvious color. So we just have to keep that in mind as we're, as we're doing this, you know, um, sometimes beige is going to have to pass as peach. Sometimes pink will be, sometimes it'll be an orangey pink. Sometimes it'll be a coral. It just kind of depends what the options that we have are and what it's all looking like, you know? Okay. This can be where the stove goes. Peach is what you make it. Yeah. <laughs> It's such an ordeal doing um, the not so berry houses because we have to really think outside the box a lot of the time. <laughs> anyway, anyway, Corey, Buzz, Han, Olive, Blue. Thank you for the subs, everybody. Okay. Well, this is gonna be nice. It's gotta be pretty too. Yeah, that's the problem. I don't like that corner piece. I don't like it at one bit. Um, okay, guys, I just saw one of my mods get a Twitch whisper from someone about this. So I'm just gonna, I'll just explain it now too, um, to make it a little bit more obvious to you all. But you know how I had that little tiny merch drop a couple of weeks ago? Um, the sensitive hoodies were a pre-order. Um, so if you bought any of the things, it will have shipped except the sensitive hoodie, which was a pre-order. So if you're like, why isn't it shipped yet? That was, it was a pre-order, so they were printing it post-order and then shipping them. The rest of it was existing stock because I closed my merch store and left the company. <laughs> so we were trying to get rid of all of the existing stock. Um, the sensitive hoodie was a pre-order. So if you're like, where is it? It's fine. It's, it was a pre-order though. If you check like your order, original order history, um, it'll be it. Anyway, I understand. It bothers me too. <laughs> There's a reason I left the merch company. Um, but yeah, the sensitive hoodie was a pre-order, so it said it on the thingy too, but maybe you didn't see it. Um, but anyway, I'm planning on getting a new merch company fairy. Yes. Um, not right now. Soon. It's a work in progress. <laughs> this whole thing has been causing me an extreme amount of stress <laughs> for like months and I haven't been talking about it, but it's been a whole thing. So <laughs> anyway, just bear with me. Um, I keep, why does it keep leaving build mode? Um, okay. Anyway. What do you guys think about that? Is that better? I think I would prefer for it to go around the corner though. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't saved yet, no. Saving again is a good idea. But yeah, it's the, that sensitive hoodie was a pre-order. They should be shipping really soon, but um, it was a pre-order, so. All right. Um, how about this? Is that the right color? Why does it have to be that? I know that the wood on this is gray, but it being gray is like not really what I'm going for. <laughs> I don't know. It may look too crowded if it's wrapped. Yeah, but I had it wrapped before, so I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Um... Let me get the stuff from this kit again. Cool. Cool, very, very cool. That's better, I like that better. I don't know if I like these cabinets with this or not. It's hard to say. I'm not really sure, but maybe it's fine, I don't know. You're not really convinced? Oh, that breaks my heart. <laughs> 
don't know. We'll see if we can make that work. It's a good starting point. These are the same swatch. They're not different colors, friends. Uh, welcome to The Sims 4. You're gonna be really bothered by the lighting in The Sims 4 for the rest of your life if this is the first time you're seeing it. Um, <laughs> welcome, again, welcome to The Sims 4. You are, you are in for it now if you've never noticed that before. <laughs> I think it'll look better not as big, maybe the pinky one. Well, so we had the pinky one first. This has been a multi-day process, friends. Um, this has been a multi, multi, multi-day process. Okay. I'm gonna see about rugs, maybe. Trust the process. We can adjust some things once we have some more of the furniture put in, too, okay? The pink looked really weird with the tile. And the tile was important to me, so. <sighs> okay. That's very pink and not so much peach. That's kind of peachy, but not really the vibes that I'm going for. That's just orange. I don't know. Oh. Oh. That is a little bit more peachy than I thought it was. That could be interesting. Okay, it looks like a literal peach. <laughs> it looks like the fruit, so that's good. Oh, that does too, but it doesn't match the style of the house. I don't know. Oh God, you guys, <laughs> this is gonna be such a long process. We're gonna be doing this forever. I'm never gonna finish this build because I'm gonna be so picky about the color. <laughs> Doris, Pexy, Grace, Emma, Lila, Sophie, thank you for the subs. Okay, um, let's see. Um, oh, and about the merch thing also, um, from my understanding, I was informed that they sent out email reminders that it was a pre-order to the people who pre-ordered it, but I will tell them to do it again <laughs> because um, clearly it was not very clear, even though there was supposed to be, uh, I was told that there was communication about it already. I don't know if any of you got it, but um, okay. When something isn't peach and go with cream. Yeah, but, but like, I want it to be, excessively peachy is the problem you know the unlockable city living couch is so peach oh i guess that's true that could be an idea okay let's try to put some little curtains on this that's kind of pink i don't know They did tell you it was coming late. Yeah, I learned that today, Arch, that people got an email that it was going to take 10 days longer than it was supposed to past the original pre-order day, and they didn't even tell me about that. I'm sorry, I really shouldn't talk about this on stream. <sighs> you guys have no idea. Anyway, um, but it, it's, it was always a pre-order, so. Anyway, um, anyway. I think that maybe I will get curtains. Okay, that's good. I wonder if we could get a nice like wall texture or something. Maybe if there was like a, you know what? That beige almost leans a little bit peach. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but it kind of does. Desert Lux couch. Oh my God, you're so right. Wait, I used the Desert Lux couches in here. No, you're so right about that because these are perfect. Look, exact right color. Oh my God, it's like so samey in here. Wedding stories wallpaper. Isn't this the wedding stories wallpaper? Yeah, this is the wedding stories wallpaper. That's so good, okay. Plants will solve the samey, that's true. And samey is kind of what we're going for. Like that's kind of the vibes. It's it's not so berry. So we need to we need to keep that in mind. Um That might be nice. I don't know. Maybe we can get some bookshelves on this wall. What lot is this? This is um 
Is this 50 by 40? Yeah, this is 50 by 40 lot. It's the one where the, the wedding venue is by default in the wedding stories pack. If you're at all familiar with the wedding pack, um, <laughs> sorry if you are, <laughs> but if this is where the, the wedding venue is, <laughs> but I bulldozed it and now we've got this. So yeah, we can try to use the high school couch elsewhere because that high school couch really does look good in here, I think. I like that. Is the wedding pack worth it? Um, <laughs> it's an interesting question that you ask. Uh, <laughs> it it's hard to say. It it really is hard to say. It kind of depends on on you and what you like. It's more worth it than it was when they first made it. Um. But it's, um, I don't know. The world is very good. The cast is very good. The build by is very specific because it's like wedding party stuff. But um, I don't know. It's, it's better. It's not as glitchy. It wouldn't be my first pick of a game pack, but it really depends what you like, I guess. I don't know. Gameplay broken. It's not as broken. So maybe I'm just, I'm used to what it was when it first came out. So my, maybe I'm a little, um, my opinion is skewed. But it's, it's better than it was before, at least. So. <laughs> Throw up, thank you for the bits, and Toaster, and Mama, and Winnie, and Pebs, and Teen, and Fly, and Norris, and Bexy, thank you all so much. Okay. Um, no, I want a nice TV. No, I don't think, I don't think Dine Out is more broken. Dine Out is just more annoying, <laughs> to me at least. Well, I might have a different experience than you with the pack. I, I don't know if I would say Dine Out is more broken. I just think of Dine Out as being, yeah, more annoying, I guess is the word I'm looking for. Does the frame TV have a peach swatch? Oh, I don't know. It's not as big. I guess it does come in a kind of peachy. But it's so small. This TV takes up more wall space. I don't know. What do you think? Can you size it up? It'll be too big sized up. See, that's like too much. I could maybe use it in the bedroom. Oh, it might be too much in the bedroom too, because I'm going to use this wallpaper. Eh. I think the regular TV is better, I fear. I wish there was like a slight more in between. Plus this TV is better just in general, because it has like more, more good stuff to it. Uh, more, you, it has like, you get your fun up faster and stuff, which I prefer. Looks weird sized up. Yeah, it's like not, it's clearly not meant to be sized up, so. Okay. Okay. Cassidy, Adam, Ty, thank you, and, and Thrift, and Toaster, thank you for the subs, everybody. Okay. Growing together. I wanted to look at some of the lights from growing together. Because these come in like, <laughs> shockingly, these come in a kind of peachy color and I kind of want to use them. <laughs> Isn't that good though? I feel like that's so good. Like genuinely, I really like it. Somehow it works. I don't know, we'll get this on the coffee table. Maybe some other stuff. Yeah, rose gold type stuff is really good for this. Oh, this will be cute on my patios. Let me put that out here. Oh, good. Honestly, that that's kind of peachy. Hmm. That's really nice. <laughs> 
can someone explain what the color peach is? You know, witchy, that's, that's sort of the big discussion today. What is peach? No one really has a definitive answer. It's peach is pink, peach is orange, peach is beige at times in this build. Um, it's everything all together. <laughs> There is no, it's a, it's a mindset. So I know that's not helpful, um, but it, it's kind of like this color is sort of what I'm going for, this color of the rug. Um, color of the fruit, I guess. Um, like the outside of the fruit. The skin. Smush pink, orange, and beige together. It's a light pinky, pinky orange. At times in The Sims it has to lean beige, because otherwise we're doomed. Um, and that's what we're going for. <laughs> I know, so unhelpful, so unhelpful. I really understand. Um, that's weird. Does that come in a, oh, that's nice, okay. A color wheel would be great here, yeah. A color wheel would really help. Thank you to The Sims 4. Always making life easier for us. This has a bit of peach in it. Okay. Um, dream home decorator. I like that table, I think. Okay. Is growing together worth it? You want to get it, but you want to know if you wait for it to go on sale? Oh, Bestie, I would I would tell you to wait for every single pack to go on sale. <laughs> I I mean, I I would tell you to, to only buy packs for the Sims 4 on sale just in general. Um So I don't know. I like growing together a lot. Of the expansion packs, it's one of my faves, but it, I would wait for any of them to go on sale. Okay. Um, oh, that's kind of peachy, actually, huh? Huh, let me save again, too. <laughs> hey, Kirby, thank you for the tier 3, 37 months, and sleepwalking, and hammer, and Cassidy, thank you for the subs, too. Okay, um, let's see if there's any plants that might be good for this. Like, does this come in a nice color? No. No. Oh, Peach! Oh, that's so cute! Okay, I like that. I think we need to bring a little bit more orange over to this side of the room. Because it there's a lot of orange happening on this side. And there's not enough over here. But that's pretty good, I think. That's a good start. Okay. Oh, maybe I should put that over there. Should we do a switcheroo or is that fine? I guess that's fine. We can get a different thing here too. Yeah, I like that the chairs match the bar stools also. I think that helps. It's good. Terracotta plant pots. Oh, that'll be nice too. Okay. Yeah, we'll do some of that. I'm looking for some of these like cabinets but they need to be kind of I don't know like that color of wood is not really what I'm going for so maybe I could use the seasons one my favorite kit Ooh. I I think the greenhouse kit and the book nook kit are probably my two favorite kits for super different reasons, but I, I've been using those two kits a lot recently. So I would probably say the greenhouse kit or the book nook kit would be my pick. Um, Water and Lux kit. Um, that's actually kind of good, but I don't know if my Sim would have like this style of painting, you know? I like I like a bunch of the kits. I I don't know. The kits are sort of I have sort of complicated feelings about them because I do like a lot of the kits. Like I don't really think that 
I don't know. I don't really think that any of the kits are bad. It's it's more so the fact that they come out so often and they're kind of expensive. Like for me, I think I would prefer if they were like $3 instead of $5. And I know that um I know that the Sims would never do that. <laughs> but I just wish I just wish that that was the price point instead. Um and you can say like no one's forcing you to buy it, but um Obviously, no one's forcing me to buy it. Um, but I think a lot of folks have a, a sort of collector mindset about The Sims, um, and they don't like missing out on things, which is understandable. I get it. Um, no one wants to miss out on things for their favorite game. Um, and I, I think that that part just kind of sucks. It, they're just a little bit on the pricey side for me. Um, and I think that we could benefit from them being a little cheaper or whatever. I don't know. It's very complicated because I like having more stuff. And the goal isn't for everyone to buy them. Like most people, like when The Sims is making these, they're not making them so that everyone buys them. They're making them to sort of fill niches. Um, but it's still like, it's just too much. You love getting new stuff all the time? Yeah, I mean, I like having new stuff all the time too, but I'm also a person who plays The Sims for a living. So like, I have to kind of separate my personal opinions there from my feelings about everyone else, you know? And and also like, I, I relate so heavily to like a lot of the people here who can't have all the kits and like can have no kits, you know? Cause I think back to my childhood when like the Sims 3 store was happening cause it's very similar vibes and how badly, how desperately I wanted a lot of those things and how I couldn't have any of them. And I would watch all these YouTubers and how they all had this stuff and I was so jealous and like, I, I don't know, I just feel bad about that, so. Um, I get it. It's hard to separate that feeling from it, so. Save, babes? I just saved before I started putting the dining decorations in, so we should be okay for a second longer. Do I want curtains on this? I don't think I like curtains on that. I kind of want to see the pink. I don't know. Should I put a wall here? Maybe a wall and like a column. Oh, that's ugly. Never mind. I don't know. <laughs> Ethan, I love that you were the subs. Only pack you don't have is the Star Wars one, and you think that's understandable. Oh, Bessie, I get that. I I would not buy the Star Wars pack if if I were not like making YouTube videos on it. So I totally get where you're coming from. <laughs> Um, I just would never use it. It's got like a nice, it has a nice stone floor, but the gameplay is so, so unusable to me. <laughs> um, so I, I get it. I really do get it. Did I watch Star Wars? Yeah, I've seen Star Wars. Um, my dad is a pretty big Star Wars fan, so um, we would like watch it growing up and stuff. I don't really care about Star Wars that much though. It's never been like something that I, I feel is important to me, you know? $20 for one floor is worse than that dragon. Yeah. <laughs> you can't, you can't justify that. You just can't, no matter how you put it. Um, anyway, I, I think that Star Wars fans might enjoy it. I do think that the Star Wars pack, um, <sighs> I feel as though, even if you are a Star Wars fan, I struggle to think that the pack gameplay is good. Because it's kind of like, go talk to this person, go talk to that person, go talk to this person, go talk to that person. And, and like that aspect of it kind of, I don't know. That part kind of sucks. So I feel like it's not that good, even if you are a Star Wars fan, but I don't know. I don't want to speak for you, Star Wars fans out there. I'll allow you your, your own personal opinions. Big Star Wars fans and all of the gameplay. Yeah, see, I don't know. I just feel like it's kind of disappointing in that way. Maybe we could get a pot. Sure. 
I'm looking at all the clutter that is sort of peachy, by the way, in case you didn't notice. I'm going through anything that might pass as kind of peachy and being like, okay, I'll add that. What about Strangerville? Um, Strangerville is similar in it being kind of repetitive, but um, I find Strangerville to be, I can't believe I'm gonna say this. I find Strangerville to be a better pack because um, I think that Strangerville is more usable outside of the very specific purpose that it serves. Um, like with the Star Wars pack specifically, it's like you have to make an effort to go on vacation to that world to use it, and otherwise it's it's not really useful at all. Whereas with Strangerville, the world actually does look really cool. It's got some nice doors and windows. It's um, it's more easily accessible for like average times. <laughs> um, I don't know. I I just I think that I find Strangerville to be a little bit more everyday gameplay useful. I'm not saying something, because I have really strong negative opinions of Strangerville. It's kind of fun. Just the- it's the builds. I really struggle with the builds in that world. It's hard for me to- to like it, because they're so, like, so poorly done. You can also use Strangerville to blackmail stamps. See? Exactly. <laughs> You can also use Strangerville to blackmail Sims, and for that reason alone, you should buy the Strangerville pack. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what are we recommending to people? <laughs> Wait, how? Oh, you can use the, um, I actually made a whole YouTube video on this, maybe one of my mods could find it. Um, you can use the, uh, there's like a listening device where you can like plant bugs on people and then listen. And then you can, like, blackmail them for that information. And you get, like, a couple hundred simoleons out of them at a time. I did a whole rags to riches with it. <laughs> so, that's something. That is something. I might save some space here so we can put some of the clutter items that I have, um, at home. Or at least from the new house in, I mean. I don't know, that seems interesting enough. Oh, C got that fast. Yeah, there's the blackmail video. <laughs> Tony, Kissy, Maddie, Cece, thank you for the subs. Have I done beach combing rags to riches yet? I don't know. Does anybody else remember? The way I just googled Lil Simsy blackmail video and found exactly what I was looking for. Oh, good. I don't- someone said yes you have, someone else said I don't think so. So, I don't know. I'll have to look for it later. I might have a better chance of finding it than you. I'm not sure. Blackmail video does not sound good without context. You're so right. That sounds really bad. <laughs> you probably shouldn't go around calling it- Oh, you know that blackmail video I made? <laughs> uh, no Kayla, I don't. Tell us more. <laughs> What- what blackmail video are you discussing here, hmm? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Bookworm, cat- two cats! Cat Renee, uh, and Cat of Summer, thank you C as well, and Kara and Jen, thank you all so much. Thought you had, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I don't really remember. I'm seeing a lot of people say that they think I haven't, so maybe I actually haven't, and I just- I just don't recall. What do you think about that? I think I like that bench there. There's a lot of open space in here to a to the point where I don't know if I like it. This wood tone kind of seems peachy to me. Oh, there's stickers on it. I don't want stickers on it. Get the plain one. What do you think about that? There's sort of a mix of wood tones in here. That bench is gonna be where the toddlers have their meals. You know what, that's actually a really good point. And that makes it, in my opinion, super worth it. Cause the toddlers are gonna need a spot to eat. 
So having a little bench there is going to be better. Okay. Okay. Erin, Blueberry, thank you for the subs. The fact that I can't remember this, like, making a video on my own channel, and I'm sat here asking chat, like, do you guys know if I did this? <laughs> do any of you remember this YouTube video? <laughs> You never use high chairs? Oh yeah, me neither. I also don't have any kids right now in this save, so we don't need a high chair anyway. We will eventually, maybe, but... Okay. That seems fine. Let's get some more kitchen clutter. I don't know. Yeah, I post hundreds of videos. So, like, who even knows what's going on anymore with them? I want... I don't think I did, though. I, I think I'm settling on... I don't think so. I need paper towels, but I don't see them. Do you? Yes, they're right there. Sorry, everybody. Um, I also want to get... Something like this. Cute. Peppa would look great in the kitchen. Oh, speaking of which, everyone, I have really horrible news. Um, there is a, a new development this week in my streaming plans. And it is that I am going to be doing a Peppa Pig stream on Thursday. So, uh, stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned. We will, we will be here, um, and we will be playing the Peppa Pig game again. I'm really dreading it. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Plato, thank you for the subs. Horrible, absolutely horrible. So that's the plan for Thursday. Um, hopefully you have time. You'll be home in time. You have a dentist appointment. I have a dentist appointment on Wednesday. Horrible, absolutely horrible. Nightmare week I'm having. <laughs> Just a terrible week. Everything's going wrong. First I have to go to the dentist. Then I've got to play the Peppa Pig game. Ugh. Ugh, what time? Like, for the stream? The same time I always go live. So I went live today, for example, at 4 o'clock Eastern Time, about an hour ago. So about an hour ago, but on Thursday is when we will be live doing the Peppa stream. Oh, oh, right, right, right. I actually, you guys, um, I'm actually a big fan of the dentist because... Um, it's so valuable to take care of my teeth and the dentist is really nice and I love when um, I can hear my teeth being worked on and cleaned. The sound of that is music to my ears, right? <laughs> is that appropriate for the little ears <laughs> that are listening to the stream? We love the dentist, right everyone? <laughs> Sorry, Christine. <laughs> Okay, um, let me see what I can find about new stuff. You guys can speak your mind. Some of us should be careful what we say out loud, because there's little ones listening, you know? <laughs> um, okay. I think... I don't know, maybe we can get some of this little thing sized down, perhaps? Oh, that's... No, that didn't even size down. <laughs> Why did I think I sized it down when I didn't? Okay, that's cute. Um, and then... Maybe some books could also be good. Yeah, that seems lovely. Okay. How much more do you think I should put? Maybe like... 
Honestly, that little picture, that can be enough for me. I should probably stop spending too much anyway, because I'm worried about... I'm worried about, like, being able to afford the house. And we only have 30- oh, we only have 33,000 simoleons left. Oh, yikes. Okay. Let's call this done for now, and we can come back to add more to it once we're done. Let's make the bedroom. No, Mac, we started this build- I- I streamed for about three hours working on this build on Friday, so a few days ago. Um, but no, I, I did not start this build today. Uh, this is not day one, this is day two. Okay. Um, Aaron, Baby, Dark, Kim, Cope, thank you for the subs, everybody. Some of the wall and the closet is brick. Oh, it is. I fix. I might actually use some more of that here. I like this wallpaper. <laughs> I'm serious, I think it's really fun. Um, I know for a fact that I used a sort of different and somewhat peachy seeming curtain in this room because I used this wallpaper in the other house for my Sims siblings. Should I go all out with the orange for now? I don't know, this is the primary bedroom for the peach sim. So we have to think very seriously about this. Is that clipping with the ceiling? Yes. Boo. You know what's interesting about this? The lighting being kind of messed up on them is maybe not a bad thing. You're making those curtains longer? Oh, I sized them up. They're kind of annoying sized up because they come pretty far off the wall, but... Worse things could be happening. If we squint our eyes, it could be peach. Yeah, and we will be able to get in some nice peach things to match it. No. No, 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 no. I think I used like, oh God, I don't know. I need a double bed. And it needs to be You know what else is annoying about this room? There's no, like, good wall space. Maybe I won't put a window here. Because then I can have the bed there. That's kind of peachy. That's not too bad. Is it necessary for the house to be peach colored for the Not So Berry Challenge? Um, it's not necessary. I, I personally think that this is the most fun way to play the game, though. So you don't- oh, that's- see, that's not enough. That's kind of beige. This is better. I- yeah, so you don't have to do that when you're playing Not So Berry, um, I suppose. But- but doing this and having, like, the funky colors and the silly house, like, that's- that's half the fun of Not So Berry to me, so I prefer it that way. Um, if you were going to play, you obviously don't have to do that. You can do whatever you want. Um, but this is kind of my preference. I- I just think it's more fun this way, so. Um, okay. You know, Noom, the thing about those sort of rumors, something that I don't understand is that those people were right about the last pack. So I don't know, I don't know where they get these rumors <laughs> and how they know this information. I actually find it kind of alarming. So I try not to, I try not to talk about it too much or give uh, too much discussion to rumors like that on my streams because it makes me feel sad when stuff gets spoiled. So, um, I try to ignore it for the most part, intentionally. Um, but anyway, I love this little guy. I think that's so cute. Maybe I'll put it over here. Um... Maybe Haunted House, I don't know. The rumor is that the new world is going to be sort of tie inspired potentially. Um, and there, I guess there's a couple things in the roadmap that might let you believe that. Um, but I don't know, I try not to, again, I try not to think about rumors like that too much because um, they could very easily be wrong. And then if we sit here, anytime we discuss Sims rumors, <laughs> 
too early on, we have to walk the line very carefully because you don't want to like overhype something and then have it be not true because then people get upset um, or, you know, whatever. It just, I try to avoid talking about it. I also feel, it just sucks. I don't find it fun when, when there's like Sims leaks or Sims rumors. Um, I don't even want to call it a leak, but like when people on social media seem to know things that they shouldn't and then they are sharing it online, like that's not fun to me. That makes me feel really bad for the team that worked on it that doesn't get to announce it in the way that they planned, you know? Um, but anyway, anyway. Yeah, and there's like a big difference between, like you said, Snowy, like Kit Leaks is a huge, totally different game than like an expansion pack leak. So I don't know. I just try to <laughs> try to avoid until there's more reason to believe that it's true. Um, Snowy Escape. Okay. Fuzzy might be good. I don't know. Yeah, like, to, so I don't know how many of you guys were around for this back in the day, so you might not remember this, but uh, the Great Eco Lifestyle Disaster. <laughs> um, this was actually genuinely, like, really bad. So the day before Eco Lifestyle came out, um, like, or not before it came out, the day before the trailer dropped, so we knew there was going to be an expansion pack, and we knew that it was going to be announced the next day. Day before the trailer comes out, somebody made a fake leak completely fake leak of a farming pack and they said oh i work at target i can see it on the back end in the system look at this doctored screenshot um i can see it look it's it's a farming pack and everyone knew there was a pack coming the next or being announced the next day and then all of a sudden there's this leak so people are like no way it's a farming pack everyone gets super excited obviously it wasn't a farming pack complete and total disaster. I got so much hate <laughs> this stream, the day of my, the day I did my trailer reaction, I was like, cause in the reaction of the trailer, I was kind of excited and I stand by that. I like that pack a lot, but people were so mad that I was like excited about the pack because they were like, this pack is so stupid. EA sucks. You're a sellout. They're paying you to like the trailer, like all these things. Um, <laughs> because they wanted it to be a farming pack and then it wasn't. And then it actually came out and they all changed their minds and liked the pack. Like the general consensus was very different. Um, but anyway, it was a disaster. So th this is kind of the fear that I have when people are posting things online and like teasing that they know stuff. Cause you could just lie. Like I could sit here and be like, no, no guys, the next pack is actually, no, listen, it's luxury party too. I know it is. I have sources, guys. It's Luxury Party 2. And I could just tell you that. Doesn't make it true. <laughs> I could just say whatever I want, <laughs> you know? So that's kind of the fear that I have about rumors like that, is like, what if it ends up being a big fake thing again? Does that make sense? Not the Luxury Party 2, please no. <laughs> Source, trust me. <laughs> exactly. Guys, I can't pick a rug. I'm really struggling with this. Um, I don't know. What if we had a... Maybe different wallpaper? No, I feel very, very, very uh, attached to this wallpaper, actually. <sighs> Unfortunately, I'm, I'm really attached to it. No, that won't work. How do they always have leaks and other games manage to have none? Well, a lot of games have leaks. It's not uncommon. Um, things like Just Dance literally has constant leaks. Um, and I think part of the difference is that The Sims has a lot more releases than other games. Um, so you, you think about like, I don't know, a, a game that like Stardew Valley that doesn't release any new DLC. And the only things we learn about it are from Concerned Ape tweeting. Like even Minecraft has leaks. It's 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 just there's more re releases for The Sims and people follow it pretty closely. Um, it happens to every game to some degree, some more than others. But we also have a lot of releases, which means more opportunity for it. So, um, and most of the leaks are kits, which dare I say, barely even counts. <laughs> barely even counts when it's a kit leak.
Can I scoot this over a little bit? Maybe I could give myself some more room. Because then I would be able to make this have a little bit more space. And then I could fit a bigger rug underneath it. I don't like that rug. But this is better because we have more... We have more rug possibilities now. I could also do a fake rug like this if I wanted to. Oh, you know what is interesting about this? That's kind of peachy. Shall we try something like that? Huh. That might be the best thing that we could do for this, because I don't know how else to, to split it up. Our current peach heir is um, a teenager, but they're going to age up in a couple days, so. You like the rug, you still don't like the curtains. Oh, really? I kind of like the curtains, I, I think. Maybe I could make the room. Oh no, that's horrible. Never mind. Sorry. Hear me out. Wall to wall carpet. Do you think? It looks like it almost looks too teenagery to me. I think. I think I prefer having a little bit of floor. I don't know. The children of this generation are going to be green. So the kids' bedrooms upstairs are going to be green in this house. Okay, I was gonna get perhaps a vanity table. That was an idea that I had had. It comes in a kind of nice color too, which is good. Why not the new bedroom kit set? Cause I like this bed better <laughs> for this style. I don't know. I, I looked at it and I decided to like this one better for this. I thought it matched better. It was more peachy. The other one is a little bit more white, which isn't a bad thing, but I just would prefer to have some more uh, standout peachiness. What type of green? Well, that's the beauty of the next generation is we get to decide that. Um, I'm gonna go kind of like uh, well, it has to be like true green and not so much like a minty green because obviously we already had the mint generation of not so very so um, green green, but other than that could even lean a little bit neon if we wanted it to. Yeah, it can't be mint, but it'll be like some serious green. Green cottage. Yeah, exactly. It's gonna be cute. I'm excited about it. The fun part of a color like green is that we just have more options in general. Like we're kind of, the peach is hard because we're kind of stuck with what we have in the game to work with for peach. But green has way more variance. Like there's just more options of things that are green in general. So it'll be easier. Yeah, the wallpaper has mint and green birds. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Um, no, that doesn't really match that well. No, we don't magic. There's no other info on the expansion pack. Um, I don't know if they'll tell us yet. I'm kind of, my expectation, if, if I were to be a, a person who makes bets on this, and just so we're clear, you guys, I don't know, okay? If I knew, why would I sit here and be like, hmm, I guess the trailer's gonna come out on this day. They would never tell me anything again, okay? They do, I don't know what the trailer is. I'm guessing, I'm guessing, okay? Let's be clear, it's a guess. If I were to guess, I think that it would be smart of them to release the expansion pack around the end of November. Like, that would be sort of my pick around the end of November, um, kind of with ample time for the holidays. And they usually announce the expansion packs about a month in advance. So maybe we'd learn more around the end of this month or early November. That would be my pick though, um, is to release it around then because then they could have it be a good gift for the holidays and stuff. Um, the weird thing is that 
like Thanksgiving is a, obviously a holiday in the US and our Thanksgiving is the 23rd of November. So I don't know if like them being out of office for the holidays might throw it off a little bit, but I feel like releasing it in December seems a little bit too late to me, but I don't know, we'll see. Um, and also it used to always be in November, like the packs would come out in November. Oftentimes in like early November or late October, but I don't think that's gonna happen because we would know about it by now. So um, there would be there would be more info, I think, if it was going to come out then. Um, no Americans don't get each other's presents on Thanksgiving. A lot of people do a lot of holiday shopping around Thanksgiving though, because the day after Thanksgiving is Black Friday, which is like a big sales day. I'm sure a lot of you might have heard of Black Friday and Cyber Monday. There's a lot of like sale online sales and, and in-store sales on things on Black Friday. So people do it. They just call it the holidays and people do a lot of shopping around then. Um, and also happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> I almost forgot to say that. Happy Thanksgiving. Um, that's exciting to my Canadian friends. Speaking of Thanksgiving. <laughs> Funny that we bring that up. <laughs> okay, no, that looks bad. Guys, I don't know what to use. I'm thinking about it too much. Um, yeah, Black Friday has kind of become a global thing. That's the, I guess, the beauty of um, capitalism. <laughs> if they can make money off of you on more than one day, they will. Um, people do Black Friday kind of globally, it seems like. Um, but it is the day after Thanksgiving. That's when it usually is. Don't need art. The wall is enough. I'm actually trying to split up the wall a little bit. Like I'm putting art on purpose and an intention to try and like, with the intention of trying to split it up, I mean. Those are my favorite paintings in the game, so. <laughs> maybe if we had, oh, maybe I could put this over here. I think I like that. And we can get a little plant or something. Family photos. Oh, that's true. Family photos might be better. What's Prime Day? I don't know. I don't know when they do Prime Day or why they pick that day in particular. It's in July. Prime Day is in July. Why? I don't know. October 10th and 11th. Do they have two Prime Days? Oh, Amazon's doing two Prime Days this year. Yeah, that's just fun for them, I think. <laughs> Prime Day is tomorrow? Oh. Yeah, that's tomorrow is the 10th. Huh. Well, good, I guess. It's just a sale day. That doesn't mean anything. It's just a day for them to have a big sale and push big sales. So <laughs> all of these things are, all of these things are. Okay, have to do some Christmas shopping. That'll be nice. Hopefully you can get some stuff for a good price. Um, okay. These windows are from the wedding pack. They're these windows from the wedding pack. Okay. I kind of wish that there was like, this is a peachy mirror. I kind of wish that there was like not glass on this table, which stinks. I just feel like the wall is so busy that I wish that it wasn't glass because then there would be a little bit more of an obvious, like, I don't know, thing that breaks up the room. Is there a horizontal window to go above the bed? No, and the bed's kind of in a weird spot too. Um, it would be like that, but you see how the bed is like right in the corner? So probably not. Maybe only have an accent wall? No, I'm, I'm okay with the wallpaper being kind of dramatic. Dramatic is fun for me. <laughs> we just gotta try and make it work. When's the next shell challenge? I don't know, cause I was hoping to do it soon-ish, but um, with, I'm going to TwitchCon in about a week and I'm growing 
more and more stressed by the day about finishing pre-recording, so I don't know if we're gonna have time to do a build that is a shell until after I get back. Maybe on the Monday before I go, but also maybe not. We're gonna wait and see if I finish this in a reasonable amount of time. We have plenty of time until next week, but there's other builds that I wanted to do this week, so. Um, I don't know. I would like to. Could try for a smaller shell. Yeah, maybe we could do a small shell. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I already have that. I want a dresser that is low so I can put a mirror above it. When is TwitchCon? Um, TwitchCon is the 20th through 22nd of October. But I'm flying out on the Wednesday, so. Ugly, 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 ugly. It actually kind of matches though. I know it looks a little bit dirty, but it does kind of match. I'm not sure. <laughs> Happy tragic, thank you for the subs. Yeah, Dan's coming, yeah. Dan is also a Twitch partner, so TwitchCon is also fun for him, believe it or not. Ooh, that's kind of peachy. That's too much, too many mirrors though. I'm stressed. Reading it would be cute. Yeah, but I don't think I would use it for my Sims. That's the problem. Maybe I could put a TV above the dresser. <laughs> um, shove the desk in the wall to hide the mirror. Oh, but it's a vanity. So I kind of like it. Maybe we could use the frame TV. The problem is the frame TV is kind of like, it comes in a, the right color, but I feel like the pattern is kind of not perfect for this. Can I do a little switch? Oh, friends, let's do a little, no, maybe not. Oh my God, I'm thinking about this way too much. Any fun Vegas plans beyond TwitchCon? No, I'm always very busy at the conventions, so I won't have time um, to do much else. Hang out with friends and and many a convention thing, basically. I don't know if I like the vanity. I think the vanity is really throwing me off. I want to like it, but the glass, I just don't know if I like how it looks in here. For this room, at least. She doesn't seem like a Vegas plants kind of girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not really my, it's not really my thing, huh? Anyway, um, I get really anxious at conventions too, so. I don't really intend to be out much. There's other vanities, but I was only using that vanity because it had like the kind of peachy color. Like the other, the other vanities, I don't want it because it's a vanity. I wanted it because it was kind of peachy. You know? <laughs> so. Can you lower the mirror? No, unfortunately not. That's not really how it works. Um... Don't even joke about that, Kate. I'm so stressed. I'm gonna be so, so, so stressed and sad if they announce the pack while I am gone. I don't think they will because they usually, well, I guess they might because trailers drop on Thursday sometimes, don't they? No, don't say that. Don't say that. Thursday would be extremely bad for them to drop a trailer. I don't think they will though. And if they do, well, I'm going to cry, so. Should go to the chocolate museum in Vegas. Oh my goodness, I'm not gonna have any time. <laughs> I'm gonna, I would use my phone to film it, Christine, like I did last time at VidCon. Um, I would use my phone probably to film. But anyway, don't even put that out there because that's not, I, I, to put it simply, I don't have the energy to deal with them doing that to me. <laughs> They absolutely cannot drop a trailer while I am gone. I refuse to accept that. I really, I honestly don't think they will though. I would be surprised if they did. I don't think that looks good. 
I don't think that looks good. Yes, festering. I did not forget about that. <laughs> I asked and they said they wouldn't tell me. Oh, I could never forget about that. This might be nice. If it happens, they're doing it on purpose. I yeah, I would I would agree. What did I ask? I asked when the trailer was going to come out. Cause I was like, I'm going to my, so I'm going to my grandparents' house for my grandpa's birthday uh, in the first weekend of November. So I was asking them like, is it gonna come out then? Cause I wanna go to my grandparents' house and I wasn't given a response. So. <laughs> anyway. Um, let me see. I want to get... What trailer? There, well, there is no trailer. We're making assumptions that this expansion pack is going to come out in November, December timeframe. Because we know there's going to be another expansion pack this year. This is why we shouldn't even talk about it. As soon as I mention anything like this on stream, everybody's like, What trailer? What do you know? I don't! <laughs> we're guessing, we're guessing. We're guessing. There's no news about a Sims pack. Um... Danny, I have one panel and I have a meet and greet at the convention this time this year. Um, so I'll be doing both of those. We are wildly speculating, yeah. I feel like this room is kind of... <sighs> I think, almost in a bad way, this room seems too childish. I need it to, make, to be a little fancier. Fish-free panel, right? I hope so. No, I don't think this panel is going to be a, a high crowd draw. <laughs> so I'm not worried about any sharks climbing on stage this time. Yeah. Maybe a different bench. Oh, I kind of liked it. I don't know. Anyway, come back to it. Maybe I should. Hold on, I have an idea. But like the panel that I was on where the shark climbed on stage at VidCon, Dream was on that panel. So like, um, you you can imagine that it was maybe a bigger target for people to mess with, I guess. This panel is about charity streaming. So it's gonna be a nice panel, but it like what I mean is um, it's not like, gonna be the biggest crowd draw panel of the convention, you know? <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not- I'm not sure how many people care about it. <laughs> I care about it, and a lot of you might care about that kind of thing, but I don't know if, like, the average TwitchCon attendee, um, would care that much about it. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, um... That seems, that seems cute and nice, right? I don't like that anymore. Maybe it should be fine like that and I'm just being really dramatic about this and it can be fine. <laughs> More Panthers actually the 24 months. Okay. Okay. You love the big mirror? Yeah, I do too, but I feel like it doesn't look good with that there. It's like the two things together. Guys, I'm never gonna finish this because I can't make a decision. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is why we have to budget so much time for Not So Berry builds, because look what happens when we try and do Not So Berry builds. It's a disaster. Maybe I could put a poof over here like I wanted before, but then didn't add. I don't know if there's a color that matches well enough. It could be a lighter color though. Okay, maybe that's better. It'll be good for now. It'll be good for now. That's fine. This is fine. That's kind of peachy seeming. Okay. 
Okay, so this, we started working on the office a little bit and then got distracted. Um, what are the hobbies and occupations of these sims? So they're gonna be a detective and a joke star. They have to do both careers in their life. Um, they like gourmet cooking, they like music. Um, obviously being a comedian, they have to tell jokes and stuff. Um, most of those things, many things like that. Okay. Maybe I get another bookshelf over here. Yeah, peach is really hard to decorate and not so very specific, like, I, or peach specifically and not so very is really hard to decorate for because it's such a unclear color. Let's put a thermostat over here. Does she actually have to do two jobs? Yeah, we're gonna do one and then quit and then do the other. So yes. <laughs> we will actually do two jobs. Your whole house with beige? Yeah, beige is easier. Than, than this whole orange thing. What does it even mean trying to make it orange like this? Does it matter which career she does first? No, you can kind of, I think you can just pick whatever you want to do if you were going to do it. We have to marry a coworker, and I think I want to do detective first. I guess I'm not sure. Does the exterior have to be peach? <laughs> Cameron, with the not so berry challenge, the exterior doesn't have to be anything. You can do whatever you want. I just think that it's more fun this way. So I personally, it is my preference to really go all out with the color theming when I play not so berry, because I just think it's way more fun to do that. But if you were to play, you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. You want to marry a cop coworker? Yeah, and then uh, get them to quit their job. So, that is the plan. Uh, maybe this could go by the entrance somewhere. It's more fun the more ridiculous it looks for you. Yeah, that's kind of my thought process on it too. Why would they quit their job? Because I don't want to I don't want to have to play with two cops. <laughs> I don't want to have to play with the same career twice just in general, but specifically I don't want to have to play with two cops. <laughs> but it's no fun, it's no fun to have to play the same career twice with two sims, so it would be super boring, I think, to do that. Oh, that is cute. Maybe I could try and use that chair. Um, do you think I can make this fit in the music room somehow? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Let's see about peachy colors too. Yeah, there's a lot of orange objects in this game, but there's not enough orange wallpaper is what I have noticed. Um... Should we try and do like something very dramatic in the office? I don't really know if I like it, but it might be kind of fun. Oh, maybe this would work in the entryway. That's true also, I guess. Oh, that looks really nice. Oh, okay, good. Okay, I like that. Not for this room, that salmon too much. Someone else says they like it. Okay. Okay. Um, V-shaped friend, I think it might be good for you to, to maybe not try to take that one personally. <laughs> Okay, I've seen you. I've seen you talk about this the past few days. People are just making a joke, um, and as you know, uh, there's a lot of reason for a lot of folks in America, specifically, to have really strong negative opinions towards the police. And I don't think that they're wrong for that. Okay, so I really, really urge you. They're not talking about you. It's it's okay. <laughs> Um, you, you can, uh, you can love and trust your family and, and you can separate that from people's opinions about the institution as a whole, okay? Um, they're two different things. It's no one's trying to attack you or your family. They're, they're speaking about the institution as a whole and, and the experiences a lot of folks in America have had, okay? 
Um, <laughs> okay. And if you don't understand that, maybe you could try and do some research on why people are saying these things and, and maybe that might help you understand a little bit better. Okay, Slimmer, Haley, Starlight, Panthers, thank you for the subs, by the way. Um, maybe I don't like this wallpaper. <laughs> I was really gonna try, you guys, but maybe I can't use this wallpaper. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Hmm, I am not sure. It's very red and and maybe in like a bad way. Maybe we could try and, and tone it down a little bit in this room, just in general. Okay. Because we could have that nice accent color. I mean, we could do a like a white on the other walls. What on earth? Did Christine just, oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> you guys, sometimes I, like, people get banned for things that I don't see. Um, and then I see, like, a pop-up. You guys can't tell. You can't see it. But I'll see in chat that it's, like, user Mrs. Tomato added blocked term. And it's, like, some horrific sexual term or something. <laughs> oh, my God. Sorry, you, I, I can't even repeat what just happened. <laughs> I can't even say it out loud, but I was like, geez, what did Christine just add as a block term? Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I can't, I can't even repeat that. <laughs> Yeesh. Twitch is kind of scary sometimes. Anyway, I'm glad that you guys don't have to see that. The, the auto mod settings we have are very effective at, at blocking you all from ever having to see anything like that. But <laughs> yikes. Oh my goodness. Um, spell it then. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You'll have to take my word for it, okay? <laughs> You'll have to just trust me. It was, it was bad. It was bad. Okay. Um. <laughs> People are so creative. <laughs> um. Um, 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 maybe, well, maybe I could use the curtains from the new pack. Yeah, University's peachy curtains are for medium wall height, though, Tara. That's the problem. They don't fit. Yeah, I'm really sorry, Llama. I know, it, it sucks when people are um, being nasty to you, and it, it definitely can be discouraging. Um, I unfortunately don't know if I have a lot of advice for you on that, um, front, because it, it doesn't stop. In fact, uh, the more you stream, the more often they do that to you. <laughs> but what I will say is over the years, I have, um, I have grown really accustomed. This is unfortunate, but true. I, over the years, I've grown really accustomed to people saying some really nasty things to me like that. Um, and now, now it's kind of funny instead of being really hurtful. There's, there's times where it gets to me. Some of them are pretty vile and it makes me feel scared. But um, a lot of times the like, the weird Twitch trolls that put like weird sexual things in my chat, it's kind of like a, geez, chill out. Um, like it's like gross, but kind of funny. Um, so it, I don't know. I think the more you see it, you do get desensitized to it a little bit, which is horrible, but uh, is the truth. Um, and so it does get a little bit easier in that way. Um, Zylina, Haley, Slime, thank you for the subs. You just gotta laugh. You have to laugh, otherwise, <laughs> otherwise you can't handle it. Um, okay, this is very orange and not very peachy, but I don't really know what to use. Like, well, maybe I could do these curtains. I don't know. I don't know if I like them, but we can try. We can try. It looks good with the chair, right? Yeah, Brew, God, I, I cannot even imagine. I, I bet any of the folks that are streaming to like any of the LGBTQ plus tags are probably getting all kinds of like absolutely unbearable messages. And I'm really sorry that you have to have that experience. Twitch is, uh, <laughs> it's a cool spot in the places that we hang out, but Twitch as a whole, unfortunately, is not exactly known for its stand-up community, which really sucks. 
Yeah, the curtains do match the wall pretty well. I think I like it together. Okay. That could work, perhaps. Can I scoot this over just a smidge? How does that look outside? I think I can keep that. I don't know. I don't know. Is Twitch better than TikTok Live? I don't really watch any TikTok Live streams. I can imagine, just, just based on how TikTok comments are, um, that TikTok Live streams are... <laughs> Yikes. You know? You would never, you would never know because you never look at Stim's bubble. Yeah, we have a, I think we have a really cool little space here on Twitch. Our, our little bubble of Sims is a, is a great place to be, so. I think TikTok streamers have mods. I don't really know how it works. I've never streamed on TikTok, so I'm not, I'm not exactly well versed in, <laughs> in TikTok live streams. I don't really know what the, anyway. Okay. Okay, flower. <laughs> should we talk about this? I was confused when you were saying that we should try not going on cruise ships because they are bad for the environment, but you praised Taylor Swift, who was using a private jet 113 times in a few months. Okay, so we're talking about two different things. Um, I never said you shouldn't go on a cruise ship. I said cruise ships are bad for the environment. So are planes, so are private jets. All of the above is bad for the environment. I never told you what to do. <laughs> I can like Taylor Swift music and still think that that is bad for the environment. These things are, you can agree with both at the same time. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> go on a cruise if you want to go on a cruise. You are one individual person. The cruise is going to go anyway. So you may as well, if you want to do it, do it. I don't care. <laughs> I never said you don't have to go on a cruise. I said they're bad for the environment and that's true. So is flying on a commercial plane. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god. The internet is so funny. Okay. Um. Let's see. I want to get a chess table, but maybe I don't want to get a chess table. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. Most things are bad for the environment, yeah, Tilly, right? <laughs> anyway, we all we all take steps to do what we can um, in our home lives, so. Our stream is usually this chaotic? I don't know. Sometimes I ignore people that uh, say stuff that is, you know, kind of wild, but not always. Um, okay. Um... Living is even bad for the environment, yeah. I don't know. I don't understand why people try to uh, catch you out for things like that. I don't really see the point, but anyway. If we go by that logic, you can't be a fan of anyone or anything because every celebrity has massive private jet usage. Any any tour is an absolute nightmare for the environment in so many ways. Like think about the waste that gets generated from it and stuff. Like, I don't know. Um, you're allowed to be fans of things. It's not your fault that that's happening. You can, you can buy a concert ticket. You can go on a plane. You can take a cruise. Um, your individual choices, unfortunately, are not going to make that big of a difference. <laughs> Still important to do what you can, you know. That's what I do, <laughs> but anyway, I don't know what I want to use in here. I did like this before. This I thought looked nice in one of the rooms, but it doesn't really, I need something wide. So I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. Um, I could double it up. Yeah, I guess you could use it twice, but do you think it's weird to have it twice? Eh, what about the thing from the backyard stuff pack? Because that's like, it might have a cute swatch. I'm definitely overthinking this. <laughs> I don't know. 
it adds more color than I necessarily might want it to, but it does have that. It's peachy, so. Movie Hangout has some stuff, but I think the Movie Hangout ones are more colorful. Oh, wait, that's kind of fun. Because I feel like the primary color is, is like that sort of orange and pink. Oh, that's good. I think I really like that, actually. Let's use that. Let's use that. Have I saved lately? Oh no, <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Crow, thank you for the bits, Becky, MJ, Fairfield, thank you for the subs. All right, do the tapestries from Horse Ranch have peach, swa peach swatches? That's probably a good idea too, actually. I think it might. Like even that is kind of peachy, isn't it? Oh, that's so cute. Oh my goodness, you're so smart for that. We can use that probably in multiple places in the house. I might put that over here. Um, perhaps a little peachy chair too. Me having the gigantic dragon plushie will fix the economy and the environment. Nice. <laughs> oh my god, flower knife, I love you, friend. You and I are so on the same page. I care so much about the environment. I think I just fundamentally disagree with you in that I am allowed to be a fan of celebrities. <laughs> I can criticize a celebrity's private jet, jet usage and still like her, okay? She, she's a cool person who makes good music. And I'm not like sitting here like, I'm so glad Taylor Swift flies around on a private plane. Like I'm not, you, you're really trying to, to like see me in a bad light, I think with this. And I know that you don't, maybe you don't mean to, but you and I are so on the same page, <laughs> okay? I stopped eating meat like nine years ago because I care about the environment and animals so much. Like I, we, we are so on the same page with this, okay? <laughs> Taylor Swift and my liking of her is not the problem. We should really think about maybe things that could be more productive <laughs> and maybe stop spamming about it, okay? And chat, you don't need to harass this person either. Um, Let's just drop it all together, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Allie, Crow, Becky, MJ, thank you for the subs. <laughs> apple pie is nasty, I agree. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I like pumpkin pie, hate apple pie. I have really strong opinions about that. Um, this rocking chair is so orange. But a rocking chair in here might be kind of cute, right? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the seven month reset, by the way. Oh, I was gonna get a cork board. Hold on. You hate apple pie? Yeah, I really, really don't like fruit pies. Like cooked fruit, the slimy texture I can't handle. I've got issues though. <laughs> I got all kinds of problems, so <laughs> don't worry about me. <laughs> I have a lot of texture problems with food, um, but I, I can't deal with the, um, the sliminess of fruit and pies. I, and I don't like the taste of cooked apples either, just in general. So it's like a double problem, but I won't eat like any fruit pie. I just don't, I can't deal with it. Um, okay, I think maybe I could get the pastel pop kit. Cause there should be some peachy things in here. That's kind of funky, this chair. I don't know if it's good or not, but this room is kind of funky, so maybe it is good. You hate raw apples texture? That's so interesting. Isn't that funny how that happens? Because like for you, it's the raw, for me, it's the cooked. Like I'm totally fine with raw apples, but the cooked ones I can't stand. What about jelly? No, jelly's not as bad. Jelly's not as bad for me. It's like the, the chunky slime. I'm sorry to call it that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the, it's the chunky slime in a pie that I just can't deal with. Ew. <laughs> no, I don't eat applesauce either. I hate applesauce. So gross. I know that this is a really unpopular opinion and I'm coming on really strong with this and I'm sorry, but um, it's just how I feel. Okay. That's kind of cute. What do you guys think about that? Applesauce? What did applesauce ever do to you? I don't know. I have I have issues, you guys. <laughs> um, okay, maybe this could go in this hallway. I don't know. It doesn't really fit in here anymore. 
That might be a decent amount of stuff for now, though. Those orange slice cups? No, 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 no. That's too, I too chunky slime. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it because it's not as bad, but. Is applesauce baby food or something? Um, no, because adults eat applesauce too, but they probably feed babies applesauce. <laughs> Cheyenne, primordial wrist, thank you for the subs. Hope, can I tell him about that? Can I tell them or is it too soon? Would it be offensive of me to bring it up or can I tell them? Oh my God. <laughs> so Hope and her girlfriend, they were uh, driving back from a festival over the weekend um, and poor Madison, Hope's girlfriend, got pulled over for the first time in her life while driving because the cop thought that she was texting on her phone. What she was actually doing is eating one of those little applesauce pouches. You know those, like, the little squeezy pouches? The, she was eating, like, like one of these. Hold on. <laughs> she got pulled over because he thought the applesauce pouch was a cell phone so they had to pull over and then the guy was like don't text and she was like i wasn't texting i was eating this and was probably crying and i just oh my god if this happened to me i would never drive again i would never drive again anyway they got they got they were allowed to leave no problem because obviously she wasn't texting um but yeah they got pulled over because of an applesauce pouch over the weekend <laughs> I'm sure it was funny as soon as like you were fine, but in the moment it would have been a, a very, very stressful, horrible thing. <laughs> don't eat baby food and drive. In some places you're allowed to eat baby food and drive. Um, I don't know what the rules are in your states, but um, in other places it's fine. So anyway, there's worse things that you could be eating while driving. This is, you just drink it. So anyway, I don't eat applesauce. I also don't eat and drive. This is like a drink. It's arguably the safest thing to eat and drive with, you know? <laughs> anyway. Um, anyway. They want those little pouches, really? Yeah, I bet. That would be helpful if you're on the road a lot. Um, I've never done that though. Never eaten anything and driven because I've um, deep, deep anxiety about driving. <laughs> I don't need applesauce, so that helps too. Okay, I was thinking about making this into a spot for my built-ins because in the Not So Berry Challenge, I have a very, very large collection of things, as many of you know, like my simmies and my snow globes and all of that sort of thing. So I was, I was planning on making this into like a little built-in section for my things. And I could put all my, my decorations, my aliens, like we could use this as a nice storage area. Um, I like that idea. Okay. Um, okay, Sarah, thank you for the seven month free sub. Okay, okay, okay. Um, where will the graves go? Oh, all in the front yard. We got plenty of space for graves in the front. So we should be good there. I might actually scoot the lot back a tiny bit more because then we have one more tile of grave space, which is good. Um, um, okay, let's see, move. Did I press the check mark button? What is it doing? Did it even move? I thought I clicked it. Can't find object. Oh, okay, I can't move it. <laughs> Entity, thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much. Oh my god, never mind, I guess. I won't be moving it. I won't be moving it. Oh well. Well, at least we're making some progress inside the house, right? Um, okay. Maybe we could put a. I don't want to give in to everyone earlier telling me to get an upright piano, but <laughs> they might be right about the upright piano. 
No, I don't know. This is supposed to be like a whole music room. We have finally have space for a big piano. I can't move it because of the wave pool. Oh, or the wade pool. Do you think that I can't move it because of the tiny pool that I put? You can't move the lot if you've got terrain. I suppose that's possible. Okay, I'm gonna get a handful of instruments in here. I need a guitar. I'm going to need a microphone. Okay. I think I like that. No, this is actually Tartosa Reese. It's the world that comes with uh, the wedding pack. It is not the horse ranch world. Um, okay. Let me look at colors again. Oh, maybe I could get some, how about this? What if we get some wall art that's actually like family photos? Cause the family photos, we have quite a few of them and it might be fun to have some places to hang them up inside. I think I would like that. Maybe I could get a couple chairs too. Does the horse ranch rug have a peach swatch? I don't know. Horse ranch. Let's find out. I think it does. Oh my goodness, it does. Oh, we should use that for this room. That's actually so good. That might even be better for this, for the dining room, actually. Oh, that's way better. Maybe I could use this rug in the music room though. Um, um, Marissa, thank you for the vids. Yeah, it actually has been exactly a year since TwitchCon last year. I was thinking about that today because I was getting um, like memories on my phone <laughs> of, of TwitchCon from last year. So I was like, oh man, look, it's, it's, it's been exactly a year since TwitchCon. Um, so that was kind of fun to think about and look at my silly little pictures from last year. Okay. I think maybe I should get the chairs again. Pink and orange. Okay. Um, no. <laughs> um, I don't know. Peach is such a stupid color. Whose idea was this? Oh my god. This is kind of peachy, but it's like too... I guess we talked about that high school year's couch, didn't we? But isn't that too, like... The high school year's couch looked really... Oh, sorry, I'm just looking at all these things while I do it. But there's a high school year's couch that is kind of the right color. But it's also a sort of different vibe. This could work, maybe. But this is what we were talking about, because that's kind of appropriately peachy. You would go to TwitchCon New York City? <laughs> yeah, I think that would be interesting. I don't know. Vegas is such a different choice. I guess the blanket ties in the rug, so maybe that's better. I don't know. I'm kind of sad that TwitchCon isn't in San Diego again this year, because I... I had grown a little bit accustomed to TwitchCon in San Diego, um, and it made me feel better that I was used to it, and it wasn't like a new convention center in a new place. <laughs> um, okay. I don't really know what I want. That couch is from high school years, yeah. This could be cute. That's kind of peachy, I don't know. I don't know. Doesn't the leaf rug from Dream Home also have some peach swatches? Yeah, it does. We've been using that a lot, um, the Dream Home decorator stuff. This one has some pretty decent color options. Um, like that one's kind of peachy and that one is kind of peachy, but I don't know if I want to use them in here. 
I might put them, like maybe I could put it up in the hallway, I don't know. I guess at that point we've used most of it though. Oh, maybe I could swap it for this one. Cause that's more peachy and it's definitely cuter. Eh. Let's try that. Let's try that. Maybe I could put a little chair out here. Are we gonna have enough money for the rest of the house? We're not gonna furnish the kids' bedrooms upstairs yet because we don't have any kids. So we're kind of planning on leaving the kids' bedrooms upstairs empty because we don't have any kids yet and then we'll we'll like decorate them once the kids are born so we have a little bit more time to save up for it. So luckily we don't have to worry about that too much. Thought they were leaves? I always thought they were kind of floral. The person in chat called it the leaf rug, so I called it the same thing, but I always saw them as kind of floral. I don't know. I don't know. Donna, thank you for the 13 months. Oh, and Kathy, thank you. Yeah, I can set up autosave. I haven't, but I could, <laughs> and I probably should, but I've never set up autosave on MC Command Center. I don't know. We prefer to live life on the edge, huh? <laughs> Just wait and see what happens, maybe. <laughs> Makes perfect logical sense. Yeah, there's mods for auto-saving. Um, Barbie's room? Yeah, I'll, I'll get Barbie's room. Yeah, I've heard that auto-save, the reason I haven't used it is because I've heard that it can be kind of, uh, like, kind of broken, but I've never actually tested it myself, so... I could be just making that up, um, and it might not be as bad as I think it is. Um, so, anyway. What does VOD stand for? Oh, it means video on demand. When people talk about VODs, they're usually talking about, like, there's, like, live content, and then there's VOD content. So, like, this is live, whereas stuff on my YouTube channel is VOD content, because it's, like, a video on demand as opposed to being live. Um, a lot of streamers, specifically, refer to their VODs as like the re-uploads of their live streams or like their finished live streams. So if you were gonna watch one of my VODs, you would go to my VOD channel, my like more Simsy channel where I post all of my past streams. Um, so that's what that means, what those people are talking about. It's not like a typo of a vid or anything, even though it might seem like it. <laughs> um, it's, they're just talking about the, their on-demand video content. If she were to autosave, when would she drink water? They're a combo, exactly. <laughs> I'm not good about drinking enough water on stream. I talk too much. Bad, it's not good. Okay, um, I'm gonna put a little fire hazard again, okay? <laughs> yeah, we have that save and sip timer. On, in the chat ever since we started playing The Sims 3 on stream, because The Sims 3, as we all know, has her problems. So we have to. <laughs> you gotta be careful with The Sims 3, my friends. <laughs> Can't be trusted. This rug is eco lifestyle, right? Oh no! Oh, it's from Jungle Adventure. Huh. That's Jungle Adventure, that rug. What do you guys think about fishies in this little corner? Thoughts? We like the fishies in the corner, perhaps? Good. Yes to the fishies I'm hearing. Okay, perfect. Um, that looks weird. <laughs> Maybe I'll paint the whole thing the same color, though. And I'll paint the rest of it white, maybe? So it's all kind of even and easy to use. I think that's nice. Okay. Eulogy, thank you for the 36 month free sub. Thank you so much. Okay. Big sand painting on the big wall. Yeah, I'm worried about that because I want to have something here. So I'm worried about putting like something big up on that wall. Maybe there could be a big thing on this wall. I don't know. Let's paint the stairs too. Oh yeah. I do need to paint the stairs too. That fish stuff is from cats and dogs. It is in, It is from cats and dogs. Um, that's not what I was 
thinking, sorry. I, I don't know. Why does this honestly kind of feel peachy to me? I know it's red, but <laughs> somehow it kind of works. It's not cute enough. Um, should, <sighs> do you think the fish tank is fine? I'm not sure about the entrance. Let's just do Barbie's room. Let me explain this to you all and then we can come back to that because I need to, sometimes I need to like space it out a little. So in Barbie's room, I Barbie being the previous gen heir. So in the Not So Berry Challenge, it's obviously like a legacy challenge. So you, you keep playing with multiple generations over the years. Um, and this generation we're building for right now is Peach, but the previous generation was pink. And so our mother, um, who is going to live with us was the pink generation. So I have to make her a pretty pink room because she is a pretty pink sim. So bathroom wall, what upstairs? Yeah, I'm not doing the upstairs right now. So we can come back to that. We have bathrooms. Yeah, we have two bathrooms downstairs so far. And I'm gonna leave the upstairs mostly unfurnished until I absolutely have to. So, um, no, what am I looking for? Modern Lux, because I wanted to get... Yeah, I always have the parents live with us. I like to play very generationally in my Sims games. I think it's more fun when I have like the whole family always living together. So, oh, geez. So I don't get rid of the parents or anything like that. I prefer them to stay. The Modern Lux kit is honestly so good for Barbie. She can totally use all this. Okay. Uh, Dastardly, and thank you for the subs, by the way. Do I think there'll be a third part of building this? I don't know. It would certainly make my life a lot easier if we managed to finish this today and we didn't have to do a third part. <laughs> but we'll see, I'm not sure. Um, it would be better because then we can move on to the next build instead of working on this again for another day, you know? But I wouldn't be mad because I like doing this build can never lose their grave if they pass away in the house. You get it, exactly. Exactly. Um, no, Barbie would never have that. Mm, Barbie, would you have this? No, it's too big. Barbie, would you have this? Oh, maybe Barbie would have that. Yeah, like, not a joke. I, I really don't like it when I lose my Sims graves. It's important to me to have my Sims graves um, when they, like, die from old age and stuff. And you can go and find them. Like, you can usually go out and find them um, on other lots and stuff where they lived before. But I just, I prefer to not lose my graves. So I like to, I like to play with... <laughs> All of my sims, the whole family in the house still. And then it's nice because you've got like extra help with childcare and stuff. Like in this generation of Not So Berry, um, my sim was a single mom. She like had science babies. And so we didn't have anyone to help us raise the kids. And then we had like three children and lower. Um, so uh, we needed help. And thankfully we had our dad who lived with us still and he could help raise the kids because otherwise we would have been doomed. So, look at the bathroom wall. Which bathroom wall? This one? Okay, I can fix it. It's really okay, you guys. <laughs> um, no, Lindsay, I recorded a video for YouTube doing that today. I'm not gonna post it on YouTube for a couple weeks though. Um, <laughs> I put it on the gallery now so I wouldn't forget. Not a couple weeks. I'm gonna post the puzzle shell video that I recorded today next Tuesday. I'm kind of in my pre-recording era right now because I'm going to TwitchCon soon, so I'm sorry to alarm you, but I, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sort of ahead of myself a little bit. No, I don't like that. No, I don't like that. It's not a new shell. It's not a new shell. It's not a new shell. I'm not doing shell tours of this one. You can do it if you want to. I'm not doing it on stream. I'm not doing shell tours of this one. We're gonna do an actual shell uh, this month. Oh, that's kind of peachy though. Wait, it's also kind of pink, but that's okay. Um, it's not a new shell. Do we understand? 
No, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I like that. I don't know. I don't know. More, we'll do a proper shell that we'll do on stream and do shell tours of, but not this one. I don't know what I want. I was thinking about this one, but I think that that does not work with the rug that I have. It's cute, but we'd need a different rug. Okay. I think that's pretty. We'll change the rug and keep the wall, I, I fear. Um, that's kind of nice. I like that because it ties in, you're right, it ties in the gold on the curtains and the gold there. So that's pretty good actually. Maybe Barbie can have like a fuzzy white rug. Did I already build all this? Well, this is day two of working on this build. Yeah, we started working on it on Monday, Friday. Nope, today's Monday. <laughs> we, sorry. We started working on it on Friday. Um, and then we're finishing it today. But yeah, I, I built most of this. That's not a fuzzy rug, but it's a different vibe. I don't know. Um, time is not real. I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> I've had quite the, the weekend. Okay. Does that fuzzy rug even look good or is it weird? I don't know. What am I streaming tomorrow? I don't know. Possibly this build, possibly another build, uh, depending on whether or not we finish this today. Although if we finish this, I don't know, we'll see. I don't wanna uh, get too ahead of myself yet. Cause I'm not sure. That is the bed from the new pack. Yeah, I'm using the bed from the new Modern Lux kit. So, okay, cute. Uh, maybe pink wall decorations, perhaps. There are some nice pink wallpaper things. Oh, it doesn't really look good above this bed though. I don't know. Oh, you know what Barbie might actually honestly have is some of the stuff from the modern Lux kit. <laughs> I don't know. Let me think for a second really quickly. Can I even afford to be buying this much artwork? Oh, I guess they're not all pink enough. Oh. <laughs> Yikes. I don't know. I think it needs to be different. I'm not doing well. <laughs> it looks bad. House looks good with an entire room missing. Thanks, you know, that's really nice of you to point out. <laughs> Maybe I could use, um, I do kind of prefer it with the extra windows, to be honest. And then we could get a smaller pink painting. We have to keep in mind that poor Barbie, she's like, she's gonna need some nice stuff. Cause she's Barbie. Dinosaurs! Sorry. Oh my God, sorry, even worse. Sorry, now you're all gonna yawn too. Um, maybe, I never use this. Do you think that could be cute? Barbie's gonna be super dead soon. Oh my God, you can't say that. It's true, but you can't say that. Two kids room, someone else says very Barbie. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know, maybe it is two kids room. You love this room, are you kidding me? Oh, do you like that with it? You're never gonna live super dead down, I know. <laughs> I can't escape it, can I? Um, let's decorate this hallway, I suppose. 
before we run out of money. And we can work on it afterward. Um, that seems good to me. I need to put like a little piece of, oh God, you guys, we're running really low on money. This is pretty bad. I don't know how I managed to make this place so expensive. The budget was like 160,000 simoleons or something like that. Um, I was planning on leaving most of the bathrooms relatively empty. I might furnish that bathroom. But what I'm, my thoughts are, I don't need to decorate these rooms yet. You're gonna hate this, but welcome to the not so very challenge. I don't need to decorate these rooms yet because they're going to eventually belong to my children and my sim doesn't have any children yet. Um, and so we don't really need to furnish them completely because we don't have any kids and they're gonna be green. They're gonna be green because the kids are the green gen. Just you wait, I'm gonna make it worse. <laughs> um, that seems perfect to me for now. <laughs> but anyway, my sim is only a teen, so we're not moving into this house yet, so we'll have more time to save up some more money uh, before we actually need to use the house. So we should be fine there. Okay. Um, how about we get a nice set of counters? Oh, we're talking about dinosaurs. Wow. Um, did you, okay, here's an idea. You guys, when you were a child, did you have like a, a dinosaur phase? I didn't. Change bathroom to green. Oh, well, I'm gonna make these bathrooms green. I think this one, because it's just a hall bathroom, I won't have it be green. You did have a dinosaur face. Oh, how exciting. You're still in your dinosaur face, okay. <laughs> yeah, I never had a dinosaur face. I had a phase, don't laugh at me. I had a, a phase, like a, like a geology phase. <laughs> Stop, don't laugh. Um, and I, <laughs> I also had a lot of history phases when I was a child. Um, never super into dinosaurs though. I always kind of thought they were scary. I have a lot of problems with being scared of most things. So no one's surprised. You had an LPS phase? Oh, me too, Bessie. You had a space phase? Oh yeah, I, I could never do that because I'm scared of space still as an adult. It's dangerous stuff. Not cut out for that at all. <sighs> oh, we know you had an LPS phase. <laughs> what? No. No. Who, me? Who, me? Um, let's get some... Oh. If I size this down, yay, it fits. No, it doesn't fit. How's that do? Is that the right height? Okay, that's fine. I think you would be too powerful, negative connotation, if you had a warrior cat's face. Oh my God, I, to be honest with you guys, I never had a warrior cat's face as a child, okay? I, as an adult, have recently learned a lot about warrior cats, thanks to my friend Hope. Um, and uh, warrior cats is messed up. When I learned about the, the sort of traumatic things that were happening to these cats in this book and like children were reading it, my sister was like seven years old reading that. That's messed up. They're like, there was a part, I Googled it. There was a part where like one of the characters, it like, they, they are like constantly killing each other. They like skin each other. They do all kinds and they're cats and they're warrior cats, but it's brutal. I can't believe it. 
Anyway. Don't, it's, and it's a children's book. Cat Game of Thrones. <laughs> I didn't have an LPS phase. I had an LPS lifestyle. Oh, bestie. I don't know if you guys knew this, but when I was a child, up until I was like 12 years old, I used to make Little's Pet Shop videos. And then I turned my attentions to The Sims. Different kind of doll. Um, but anyway. <laughs> The videos aren't there anymore, um, but anyway, I did have a, a phase as a, as a young child. So, Littlest Pet Shop, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cute, we can get some towels. I should stop spending money on that stuff. What do you guys think we should put up here in this open living room area? Library? Well, I already have an office. I have a music room. I'm... Playroom, skill space. Yeah, but like... Maybe a... I guess a playroom is... Good. I don't know. Games tables are also good. TV room? We already have that. I've got all the other skill rooms that I need, too. Hmm. Oh. Oh, besties, hold on. Before we get too far ahead of ourselves, let me decorate this part. We gotta furnish the horse's room. Whether we like it or not, we have a horse. We owe the horse... We have to take care of the horse, so I have to get the horse set up. <laughs> um, let's see. Maybe I could get some, like, light colors of wood on the back wall. I don't know. Stop being mean to the horse. No, I like the horse. I just, like... I mean, I have a horse now, so it's kind of thrown off my... my original plans. You just don't like the horse? That's not true. You don't know that, Tilly. I like the horse. I just have a lot of... I have a... I, the problem that I'm having right now, it's not really the horse's fault. I have too many sims in my household. And so, like, having the horse and I got tricked by chat into getting a cat. And then, like, now I have Pulp and the cat and the horse and a bunch of kids. And, like, I just have... I have too many sims in my household, and I, I think that is where the problem is is coming from. Because I just, I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed with the sheer amount of horse things and pet things I was uh, encouraged to add. So yes, I would blame Twitch chat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think the horse is kinda inconvenient. <laughs> Well, I wasn't going to say it, but if you agree, <laughs> I also think the horse is kind of inconvenient. <laughs> um, I don't know. You guys, I don't know. You're always cheating its needs? Yeah, I am. I am always cheating its needs. And I'm gonna keep that up, let me tell you. Um, the horsey's gonna need some snacks, too. Okay. That seems nice. Consider, the horse is the green heir, no children. You know, you might be onto something. <laughs> What if the horse is our only child? Wait, this is like kind of peachy though. Hold on. You guys. We might actually be onto something with this. Why is there no wall space? <laughs> Let's hang that up. The horse's name is Strawberry and she's cute and pink and a unicorn. 
So I like, I like the horse. It's just, um, no, I shouldn't say this out loud. I was gonna say, if the horse wanted to hurry up and die, I would not be offended. But you can't say that out loud on stream. So I didn't, let's just be clear, I didn't say that. I stopped myself and then said, I was going to say, keyword going to say. So I didn't say it. <laughs> what? <laughs> you just said it, no. Do horses like crates? <laughs> sure they do. Okay, the horse can live in there. And then I can get the horsey some little grass. That'll be really good. And I'll put some more over here. The hay is stored in the crates. Yes, exactly. There's not enough room for my horsey to have a ball. Maybe that's enough for the horsey. Do I have stuff for Pulp and Ken? Yeah, the cat has a cat tree and no litter box. I need one of those, hold on. Luckily for Ken, um, I have lots of empty bathrooms that the litter box can go in. <laughs> and then maybe Pulp could get a dog bed too, because I feel like I've been wanting to put some more furniture in this area, but I'm out of money, so. Um, maybe, oh, that's kind of peachy. Oh, Pulp can have a bed right by the window. And then we need some dog toys also. Cats and dogs. I'll put them over here in the corner. The living room rug is actually, you're gonna hate this. <laughs> the living room rug is actually from the fitness stuff pack. There's Pulp's toys. I'm out of money, proceeds to buy more decorations. <laughs> no, we, okay, we do have, we do have like a little bit more money than this, okay? I just, I'm, I'm giving myself a very low estimate of how much money I should spend. So that way we'll be for sure safe, no matter what happens. That was kind of my thought process at least. I might open this so they can access the shark pond. Okay, we also have like nothing in the front yard. You see what I'm talking about? This is where we have to spend the rest of our money. This is pretty serious. We'll be able to make some money pretty quickly though, because we make a lot of money every day from like writing books and stuff. Hedge maze. Oh, interesting. <laughs> you know what we could do? What if I did put this like closer and I put like a little pathway or something over there? We could probably try and blend in some more of the lot with some bigger palm trees. I do love these palm trees, they're so cute. We can get some big ones too. Testing cheats on bb.show live edit objects. I'm gonna get some of the debug stuff from the wedding pack. Yeah, it's in Tartosa, yeah. Um, that's why I'm looking in the wedding pack, actually. <laughs> um, I'm gonna get some of the debug from this world so that we can use some of the matching landscaping. Cause like this, while this is not exactly outright peachy, it is a little bit, you know? So that could probably be used for one tree in some places. Should I put this in the front of the lot? I kind of like it. Okay, 
And then I was thinking about getting some more of these, like... Olive trees, I don't know. It is a pretty tree, isn't it? I really like it. This will help. Another tree back here. And these are free. <laughs> so that's also a win. Can you grow peaches in The Sims 4? You know what? I don't think so. Which kind of stinks, actually. Maybe I'll just open that up so that we have access to more of the exterior. You might need to get the wedding pack just for trees. Oh no. More than one person thinks it. <laughs> oops, 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 oops. Can you make pickles in The Sims 4? I don't think so. Um, Shania, Namaste, Danielle, Chihuahua, Amy, Hitch, thank you for the subs, everybody. Um, okay. We have to think about what all we want to put in the front yard. I do have some little bits of landscaping that I can try and copy. Oh wait, no, there's canning in Cottage Living. There's probably pickles. I bet, yeah, you could probably make pickles. That would make sense. You think canning and jarring should have come in eco-lifestyle instead of candles? Oh, really? I I would argue differently. I would argue that canning would be fun in eco-lifestyle instead of um instead of the juice. I'm not mad because we have the canning now from Cottage Living, and that makes sense too. It makes sense to have the canning in a farm pack, but I would argue that the canning would be more sen make more sense than the juice does. Um, okay. You fit. Oh, no, you don't. Oh. Can I let it sit there anyway? Now we have juice and horse ranch. Oh, but it's different. It's different. The juice is different for sure. Kind of forget that we have juice. Yeah, I never use the juicing feature in Eco Lifestyle. I really like the candles. I think the candles are really cool, but the juice is not my most used item. Okay, where will the graves go? Oh, all in the front. <laughs> use it all the time? Yeah, maybe I should use it more because it is kind of fun. Should I get one? Juice. Where? No, fizz. Okay, fizzing station. The word you're looking for is not juice, but fizz. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, can you get rich from that? Uh, you can make money off of it. I don't know about rich. I have done it before. Wait, this is kind of peachy though. Just a little bit. That might be a fun hobby for me. Can I put it in the front yard? That's so silly. Maybe I should stick it in the barn. <laughs> Maybe the barn is better. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Uh, I'm realizing I also don't have a coffee table under here. Thought that was a cow plant. Oh, that's one thing that we don't have here in this save yet is a cow plant. That's what's silly here. <laughs> yeah. It's the only thing that's silly. Nothing else to see here. Um, I need to get this. Oh, that is even. Okay. I like the little rug outside, I think. I need a trash can too, because we don't have a trash can yet. I will probably put the trash can over here in the corner. The backyard is cool. I like the backyard a lot. I do think the front could use some help. But is there a sim in the pool? Yeah. <laughs> They're just hanging out. They're just hanging out. It's fine. Um, maybe if we got maybe like the same lounge chairs in the front might be a nice way to fill up some of the space. 
We could also get a game table in the front, and that might be good. Oh, really? Well, that is extremely annoying. Okay. Lounge chairs in the front. That's fine, right? And maybe there could be a little game table. I don't know. Something to fill it up. Maybe one of the cute mailboxes. Oh, that would be nice also, I think. I agree. Can I use this and then these metal chairs? Oh, bikes are fun. I know that they're metal and maybe kind of weird, but I like them. I like them, I like them. Well, maybe this should be angled around the palm tree. Hmm. Metal chairs in the sun, yes. <laughs> exactly, you get it. Let's get a better mailbox too. Oh my goodness, this house is like a lot. Oh, this is kind of peachy. It's kind of random though. Maybe not. What about you? Ooh, wait, that's subtle. A little bit of peach on the mailbox. Bike. There's one that's kind of like, oh, see, this is kind of, oh, I don't know. I don't know. This is bad. I'm going back in a debug for a second to work on this. How about a bench? Yeah, some seating would probably be good too. What I was picturing over here, and I sort of distracted myself before I finished placing it, I was picturing doing like something kind of along these lines to lead you up and into the shark pond. <laughs> I was just trying to think of ways that I could encourage Sims to, you know, meander over here. We'll just fill it up with some really lovely areas of little nice stepping stones and hope that the Sims will just, you know, walk on over to the pond. They'll love it. We need to make sure that they feed the sharks. One of the problems that I have with my current not so berry house, the one that we're living in right now before we move into this one, is that the shark pond is not in an obvious enough area. Like I kind of forget about it. And so I've had to replace my sharks multiple times and I'm sick of that. <laughs> I don't want to have to keep paying for these sharks. They're too expensive. So. I need to make sure that I don't forget and I actually feed them. Not like feed them in a bad way, but I mean like literally I, I need to make sure I feed them. <laughs> like feed them shark food and not humans. <laughs> okay, um, that seems fine. Maybe this little piece in here. That's bad. Maybe you could be smaller. Okay. Does this seem good to you, chat? Little stone area. Does feeding them Sims count as feeding them? No, no, we're joking about that. When Sims die in the shark pond, they don't actually get eaten by sharks, as I like to say. Um, when the Sims die in the shark pond, they actually just drown. Um, kind of like you would drown if you were swimming in any way at all. Are my lights too? I don't know if they're... I need to make them more yellowy. Hold on. I look very pale. I always look pale, but I'm looking more pale than normal. But yeah, they don't actually get eaten by the sharks. They just drown in there. Boring, right? That's why I always say they get eaten, because it's more fun. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> 
Isn't that so disappointing? Yeah, I know. I'm really sorry, everybody, to have to break this bad news to you. Okay. This should be better. Let me see if I can get a little bit of landscaping kind of around the corner, perhaps? If Graham takes his time to show up, there's enough time for a snack. Oh. Well, that's lovely. Just lovely. You think being eaten by a shark would be less painful than drowning? Really? I don't know. I don't really like the idea of getting eaten by a shark. It kind of freaks me out a little bit. But I don't, I don't know. <laughs> we probably shouldn't talk about this. <laughs> we probably shouldn't discuss this. What is the Peach Sims name? Oh, you're gonna love this. The Peach Sims name is Princess. Like... Princess Peach. <laughs> so that is uh, that is our heir's name. Okay, maybe I should leave there no plants in the front here because in the front I need to put all my graves. Let's start doing the terrain pain. Shall we? I've had to redo my terrain paint multiple times now, because it's deleted, so. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. Aren't the pizza floats a bit peachy? Oh, we could get a pizza float. Just in general, a pool floaty might be a good touch for this. I like the way you think. I might add one of those in. Kind of put this a little darker. Make that part a little darker. Make that part a little darker. Okay, I didn't change the color of this either. Um, orange maybe? Love the matching themed shirt. Thank you, I, I did dress up for the occasion today. <laughs> I'm glad that you like it. Uh, Princess Peach is a teenager now. She's gonna age up the next time we play Not So Berry, she'll age up into a young adult. So, honestly, maybe even tomorrow. Um, actually, that might be good, because we're, we're getting close to finishing this build today. At least how much of it we can finish, because we need to save some money and, like, come over with The Sims and like bring some of our existing furniture and stuff so maybe we could finish what we can today with the budget that we have and then tomorrow try and earn as much money as possible and then move in because then by the time we move in tomorrow we'll, we can do finishing touches and then put it on the gallery because we'll have a little bit more money so we'll know what our budget is a little bit better because right now it's hard to say how much we're gonna have to work with completely. I gave myself like 160,000 and we will have a little bit more than that, but I try to be kind of careful about spending too much. So we might be better off finishing. We were planning on finishing it tomorrow anyway, but we can finish it tomorrow and like actually bring the Sims. So that way we can have an accurate judge on how much money we have. Yeah, imagine turning 20 or something and then like immediately getting your own mansion exactly to your tastes. <laughs> Happy birthday! Here is your official birthday mansion. That's how not so very works in my household. <laughs> no, we'll sell our furniture. We have a hundred and like our current house bulldozed is worth like a hundred and seventy thousand. So that's what I mean. And then we'll try and we'll like bring our old TV and we'll bring our old computer. So we'll save some money that way. But that like we're basing that off the money that we have from selling the old house. So, okay, next playing Animal Crossing on Wednesday. We're gonna play Animal Crossing on Wednesday at least, that's the plan. Okay, can you get a tour? Give me one second, Mario. I'm gonna try and finish the terrain paint before I forget because I don't wanna 
fail to do the terrain paint in all the spots and then miss a spot. <laughs> so let me just triple check that I got all the terrain paint where I wanted it first and then we can do a little look around. We're not done quite yet. I still have some more stuff I want to add, but. Okay. Have there been any terrain paint glitches recently? Oh, there sure have. I've done the terrain paint twice now. So. Thank you to The Sims 4 for that. Really love it. I just think it's so fun when the terrain paint deletes itself and I have to do it again. I, I love to practice my terrain paint, so it's totally fine. <laughs> I actually like it when that happens, believe it or not. Okay, maybe I'll open this up a little bit because then there's an open space for them to be able to access the shark pond. Do I have an Among Us stream? <laughs> we, we will do Among Us stream this month. Everybody's asking. I don't have a day specifically planned. It's going to be closer to the end of the month, like nearer to Halloween. Um, and we're also going to uh, try... They haven't said when the new map is coming out. That's half the problem. Because we, we want the new Among Us map to drop so then we can play on the new map. But they haven't given a day for when the new map is dropping. So we're kind of like playing it by ear a little bit um, so that we can try and do it when the new map comes because um, there's a brand new update from among us coming up but they haven't said what day it's going to be yet so we're waiting for that basically um yeah thornton we're doing a charity stream on halloween or well not on halloween what i'm doing it around halloween on the saturday before halloween we're going to do a big able gamers fundraiser um so not on halloween but halloween themed not on halloween <laughs> so it could be on a saturday um but that's the plan, yeah. A couple weeks from now. It's like the 28th? Yeah, 28th is my plan. Where's Snap? She's downstairs right now. She's been thriving because I opened the, the door to the patio like most of today because it was cool outside. So she was like free roaming in between my bedroom and the patio. <laughs> but it was actually nice outside today. So I was like, open the door, get some fresh air in here. This morning at least, it was in the 60s this morning. It was a miracle. I live in Florida, so it's, you know, horrible all year round. Except, except for this morning, it was not so bad. Okay. Um. Oh, there's a wallpaper messed up outside. Okay. Let's look around the inside. This is what the outside looks like, by the way. As you can see, we have a lot of patio stuff happening. We have my shark pond. We have... Uh, this pergola. I've got a cool pool. This is like a little section of pond so toddlers can wade in there. Oh, I was gonna get the floaties. Um, I was figuring there has to be like a peachy color on this. Oh, it's kind of creamsicle vibes. Let's get that. Um, and then I wanted to get a pool ladder too. That'll be good. Like the black and white swirl one. Yeah, the black and white swirl one's kind of cool, isn't it? Um, but yeah, I saw that on a short on, on YouTube. I can link the short for you. Wait, let me see. If you were here for our last stream, <laughs> my friend Kayla was, um, she called me as soon as I went live and she was like, you have to help me figure this out. She was struggling to, to make this pool. So I made it so I could show, show her how to do it. But <laughs> it was uh, that short that I just linked in the chat is, is where it's from originally. Um, okay. Anyway, so we also have the pool. We have outdoor bar and grill. We've got a patio space. We've got some planters. I've got a spot for my horsey. Um, I'm gonna like paint over that a little bit more. It's too dark. Um, in the front, we've got this cool area. I, I know that I have not picked columns for this front part yet, by the way. People are telling me to pick them. I knew that I hadn't done it. I just didn't really like how they looked, so I was... I was sort of avoiding it. Maybe I'll put just one there. I don't know. I was kind of going to just not put columns though. <laughs> That's bad. Um, I it's The area underneath the teller section is just painted with terrain paint. So it's nothing fancy. It's just terrain paint underneath it. Who's in the pool? Oh, just a random sim. She's one of the like, you know when you make a sim uh, in Cass and there's like a handful of default sims that show up? She's just one of those default sims that shows up. <laughs> she is nobody fancy. Um, she is literally just a random sim. <laughs> um, 
Um, oh, that's bad. Kind of ruins the vibes, I'm not gonna lie. Um, maybe I should... Oh no. Oh no. It can be small. You know this lady? You've seen her in cast, surely. Okay, anyway, deal, <laughs> thank you for the resub. By the way, I'm not too worried about money. I know it might seem like I am. We are gonna be totally fine for funds um, in a very short amount of time. My previous gen sim in this household is a writer and she has many very successful books. So we are gonna be totally fine. <laughs> Yeah, she's totally dressed in the swimming pool right now. Anyway, that's the whole outside. And then on the inside, we have like this little entryway. It's not done. Living room, it's not done. Kitchen, it's not done. Dining room, it's not done. Bathroom, <laughs> storage room. We have this music room area with space for all my clutter and decor. Uh, we have an office. We got the previous gen, so granny's bedroom. Um, the heir's bedroom, and they're gonna have an ensuite bathroom. And then upstairs, I haven't figured out this yet. And then, so, Basically, the way Not So Very works, it's just a legacy challenge. So you, you know, play multiple generations. I'm preparing this for the next generation, but my Sim is that, that's gonna live here is still a teen. So I'm like prepping for her mom to have this room and stuff, but she doesn't have any kids yet. So we don't need kids' bedrooms um, yet. We will, but not yet. Uh, and those kids are gonna be the green generation. So I've got like kids' rooms laid out for now for us to use later. Um, and decorate later, but they're not decorated, so <laughs> uh, we're running out of money. We again, we have plenty of money. We can get money easily by writing some. Like we have, like I think we get like five thousand simoleons and royalties every day and stuff. Like my sim makes loads of money at work, um, so we can pay for this super easily. I just need to play a couple more days in game first. Um, the previous generation doesn't have to live with the current gen, Cameron. The the fun part about these sorts of challenges is it's really up to you how you want to play. Um, for me, I prefer with my sims to play more generationally like i have a lot more fun when i live with the previous gen sim i like having grandma living there it's fun to have like a sim to help with the grandkids i like having my previous heir still around i don't like for them to die of old age in a household that's not mine i prefer them to die in my house because then i have their grave which sounds kind of morbid but it's just easier than having to go search for it and hope that it's on their lot because sometimes it kind of glitches in The Sims. Um, so anyway, you don't have to do that. It's just kind of how I prefer to play The Sims. Even aside from Legacies, I kind of prefer to play with everyone together. It's just more fun that way. And then you get these big, like, multi-generational houses happening. Um, we'll probably have our brother living with us for a little bit too, so I'll probably make one of these rooms into our brother's room for a little bit um, until we have more kids. It's just, I just think it's more fun to play generationally like that. But you totally don't have to. You can do whatever you want. You might, and like for example, there was a time in Not So Berry where I moved to San Myshuno and lived in an apartment for a little bit and then came back to live with the big family house again. Because again, I just think it's more fun that way. I prefer to have all the Sims together. Um, but it's all, it's totally up to you. Do whatever you want. You love the ghost pillow? Thanks, I sold that as merch a couple of years ago. Um, it's not around anymore, unfortunately. But it's fun. <laughs> You do it too because of my videos, really, Mira? It, I just like having everyone together. I'm, I'm liking this house a lot. I'm excited about this. It came together a lot better than I thought it was going to. We obviously have a lot more work to do on it, but... Your cat is in your backpack. Oh my god, Hope, I don't know if you were here when I showed this earlier. I'm gonna pull it up again. I'm sorry to make you guys watch this again if you saw it earlier, but... Um, <laughs> guys, okay, I'm gonna show you a picture of a shelf next to my desk, okay? Do you see anything here? Uh, you're looking for a cat, by the way. You're looking for a cat in this image. <laughs> Any ideas? <laughs> you see a collar? No, you don't. The cat doesn't have a collar on. She's in there. Do you see that? Wait, let me put this to the next to each other. She, that's her. This, if you look closely, it's fur. That's her. <laughs> She's in the basket. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? <laughs> Those eyes scared you? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> in this picture, she's actually facing the back. 
So her face is like towards the back and then she turned around. So, but when I saw her in there, I heard, I heard like wrestling. I didn't see her. I heard wrestling and I was like, what the heck? And then I was like, no way, <laughs> no way she's in that. That is a very successful void hiding spot though, huh? <laughs> no one's ever gonna find you down there. <laughs> Your void is begging for dinner. To do this, she sits in a spot where she can see both you and Madison, even though you were in different rooms. She's like triangulating you, oh my God. <laughs> That's so funny. Wait, I have, okay, I have one more thing. Um, let me see if I feel comfortable showing this to you all. Please hold. Um, please hold. I need to get a, I have a video of Snappy the other day. Um, putting, she does this thing where she literally puts me to bed every night. Okay. I'm not kidding. Every night Snappy will sit on my bed and she can see like the bathroom through the hallway. Um, so she sits on the end of the bed and she just watches me put, like brush my teeth and stuff. Um, and she literally puts me to bed every single night by doing this. Okay. <laughs> So let me, let me just play this video for you. I think you will like it. Watch. What? Hold on, wrong thing. What? Wait, wrong thing, wrong thing. Let me mute my Spotify. You need to hear her little squeaking. What? <laughs> what? You want me to go to bed? And then she follows me. <laughs> Cause she gets excited <laughs> and she wants me to get in the bed so bad every night she does this because she wants me to get in bed so she can sit on me every single night and then if i like get up to pee she'll follow me and then start doing it again like hello i already put you to bed come back but this is what she does at nighttime. she says it's bedtime <laughs> it's bedtime <laughs> every single night she's squeaky like that You've never heard her meow? I guess that's true. You might not have heard it before, but she's, she's very squeaky. Very, very squeaky. So <laughs> your cat follows you to the bathroom. Really? Yeah. She's funny like that, but literally she, she's like, what is wrong with you? I already put you to bed. Get back in there. What are you doing? <laughs> she's so polite and also kind of demanding. It, it used to be more dramatic because in, in this house, my bedroom is downstairs on the first floor. But in my old house, she used to have to try and bring us upstairs to put us to bed. Now the living room is like right next to my bedroom. So she can sit there and be like, come on and sit right in the doorway when I'm on the couch. But in the old house, she used to have to like squeak on the stairs and be like, follow me, <laughs> follow me upstairs. <laughs> but now it's easier for her because we're just right there. So it's easier for her to put us to bed. Does she do it to Dan? Uh, it's more so to me, but she'll do it to anyone because she likes to cuddle on the bed. So, but like usually me and Dan go to bed at the same time. So she kind of does it to both of us. But um, anyway, it's funny. <laughs> she really likes cuddling on the bed though. So she like wants you to hurry up because she loves it so much. <laughs> Poor Dan, Snappy has favorites. Well, I don't want to say it, but like, Snappy and I have been best friends since I was nine years old. So like, I don't know. She, her and I have a special bond that can never be replicated. We go way back. Dan's just some guy. No, she loves Dan. <laughs> she gets along great with Dan. She very much likes Dan, but <laughs> I'm Snappy's person. Your cat herds you to bed every night. That's so funny. The kittens don't do that. Um, but maybe they will eventually. <laughs> I've been, I've really been enjoying seeing the kittens like little individual personalities. Today, I'll tell you this was so funny. So they had, you know, their moments where they caused me three major tech problems <laughs> when I was recording. Um, and because uh, I was feeding Snappy, I put the kittens in their room just so that she wouldn't get snuck up on behind because the, they like sneak up, sneak up on her and she doesn't like it. So I put the kittens in their room and close the door so that they wouldn't sneak up on her. And then I started filming my like thread up Instagram stories because I'm doing a sponsor thing with them like next week. Um, but because they could hear me talking like in the bathroom right next to their room, Shrimp was yelling. He was like, 
why have you done this? Put me out of here. And he's never gotten upset. They love their room. But I think that they were like sad because I was talking and not hanging out with them. And so I let them out and they both came and, and like, were like walking in circles around me, running up against my legs while I was recording the thread up Instagram stories. So when you see those Instagram stories in like a week, I want you to know that there was kittens circling around my legs <laughs> because they wanted to come be with me so bad. <laughs> they didn't want to be left alone in the room when I was talking. How do I know it was, it was shrimp yelling? Oh, because shrimp is more dramatic than Sunny is like that. So I just know, I just know in my heart. Shrimp circling like sharks, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, they're really funny, so. Boys, boys, ridiculous. Where's Snappy Ben? Oh, she's fine, she's just, like in the house still. She just doesn't come up here this past couple weeks. I think that it's partially because, um, one, I got new sheets, so she's been really enjoying my bedroom because she likes the new sheets a lot. And two, she has to walk past the kittens to get upstairs. Um, and I, I think that she doesn't want to. She's not scared of them. She has her moments. She'll go into their room and eat their food. But I don't know. I think she's just, she's got a different hangout spot right now. Cats are weird with their phases. They'll have like a favorite spot and then they switch it. So love that for her. Yeah. The thing is I normally would be like, yes, eat their food, assert dominance, except Snappy, you have special kidney disease food. So you can't. <laughs> Your friend's older cat also eats the kitten's food? Yeah, I don't know what it is. Snappy really wants, to, it's their dry food. She tries to eat their dry food, not even their wet food. She goes and tries to eat their dry food. But you can't have that. <laughs> you can't have that. Isn't that weird though? You would think she would prefer, but no, she wants to eat their dry food, not their wet food. I guess kitten food is like, it's, it's more like densely packed in, in many things because kittens need so many more calories and stuff because they're still growing. So it's like high in protein and stuff. So maybe she, I don't know. But also she just wants things she can't have. So that's part of it. But kitten food is very rich. <laughs> so maybe that's why she tries to get to it. Um, your partner's kitten eats their elder cat's food, really? The, the babies do not touch Snap's food. They don't go anywhere near it, which I was very relieved by because Snappy has expensive prescription food, but they don't, they don't care about it at all. They care about her. <laughs> they want to be near her and she doesn't want to be near them, but they don't try and get into her food. So maybe it's like buying kitty sugary cereal. <laughs> maybe that's what it is. She wants the good cereal. Oh, she hates the senior food, really, Christine? Yeah. I'm very relieved that Snap likes her special kidney food. I honestly think she likes it better than her old food, which is fine by me. Totally fine. If you want it, then by all means, you can eat as much of that as you want, Snap. <laughs> you need that because you have a disease. <laughs> but anyway, could be worse. It could be worse. I'm glad the kittens don't try and get into it, though. Your horse gets really special mixed food now that she's old and she loves it. Your wallet does not, but she's worth it. Yeah, that makes sense. I agree. She deserves the world. She can have whatever special fancy food she wants. Oh, does she take the medley easily, Christine? That's good. My parents had the hardest time getting um, our cat, Pogi, to take his meds. It was really difficult, but I think part of the problem, sorry to like get into this. He's okay. Well, he's not, he's dead, but <laughs> it's okay now. But part of the problem was that he had a lot of sores in his throat and on his tongue. So it was very hard to get him meds because it hurt and he didn't want to like treats to like hide the meds weren't working because he like didn't want to eat them because it hurt him. So he would like take a couple licks. We were like trying to like hide them in churros and stuff and he would have like a couple licks and it would be a whole ordeal. It was really, it was really hard. Um, it makes me feel sad. But yeah, it's been, that was an ordeal trying to get him meds. So I'm glad that it's easy for your dog, Christine. Cause that's hard. It's just hard. Cause you know it's best for them, but they don't want it and they, it hurts and they hate it, but it's gonna help. So you have to like outweigh it, but ugh. Ugh. Oh, with mice, you put meds in their water. Interesting. I don't know anything about keeping mice. That's interesting. Um, your cat eats around the pill and then spits it out. Oh my goodness. 
Yeah, we had um we had like a syringe of liquid medication for Snap and for Frankie and also for one of Pogi's meds, which was a little bit easier to give them. So she didn't like it. Snap, I would like put it in her mouth and she'd be like, ugh, <laughs> ugh, as soon as I would give it to her. But it helped her. She needed it. She didn't like it though. <laughs> Yeah, that makes sense. It sucks to do, but it's fast and it's over fast, and then they, they need it, so. Anyway. Speaking of uh, cats in the vet, the kittens have to go to the vet on Thursday for their final kitten checkup. They're getting their rabies vaccine. Super exciting. <laughs> really big, fun stuff. The kitties are getting the rabies vaccine. And also, we're going to schedule their uh, spay and neuter on Thursday. So, they already had their blood work done, and it came back fine. They, they do, like, a pre-op blood work, so they know it's safe to put them under, under, under anesthesia, so... That means they are so big. I know, they got so big. So I'll tell you how much they weigh on Thursday. We'll give you a little kitten update. But they did get big. <laughs> so big. I think the shrimp is honestly, I need to get some more pictures that are side by side so you can tell. When we were at the vet last time, shrimp was like 4.9 pounds and Sunny was, was like three, maybe, no, maybe Shrimp was five pounds exactly and Sunny was 3.9, I forget. He was like a full pound bigger than her. And honestly, I I would believe that he's he's like widened that gap even more. Was she 3.8? Oh, maybe she was 3.8 and he was 4.9. I forget, I'd have to check, but he was like a whole pound bigger than her. And I think that he's even, I think the gap is wider. He might be like a pound and a half bigger than her now. Shrimp was 4.9 and Sunny was 3.8. I'm so, I'm so impressed that you remember that. <laughs> I couldn't remember, but you do. Why is he so big? I don't know. He's huge. The vet keeps being like, who? Well, I saw a different vet for, for one of their vaccines two times ago. Um, and he was like, who is the dad? Why is he so big? And I was like, found these cats in a sewer. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but they keep talking about the dad must be big because Frank, the mom, is very small. Sunny is small. She's like her mom, but Shrimp is like giant. Boys in general are bigger, but like the vets seem very surprised that he is so large. Like he just, I don't know. Sam is kind of in the middle. Shrimp is the biggest, Sunny's the smallest, and Sammy was like in the middle, so. Shrimp is not a shrimp. It's funny that his name is Shrimp and he's the big one. But anyway, <laughs> I'll keep you updated. <laughs> uh, I'll keep you updated. Your family's cat Smokey was a big tom cat, but as well as a tiny little thing too. Really? That's so interesting. I don't know anything about like cat genetics or anything like that. I also have um, obviously not a lot of kitten experience. So <laughs> my, my experience with all this is it's very new to me, so. Really, Green Dragon? Interesting. Um, can do, have to, can, it can do with where they were in the womb. Huh. And some cats are just bigger, so. I would love to know who the dad is. I would love to know. I would also love to know if they were people's pets, or if he was someone's pet that they didn't neuter or something. Like, I would just, or if it's actually a stray, I would just, I would love to have family history on them. We adopted Snappy from a shelter, Emily, but I was also nine. And like when we got her, she was already spayed. Um, I was a child. So a lot of the like kitten stuff, I don't remember because I was so little. So like the specifics and, and the kitten raising, I remember having a kitten and playing with one, but like, I don't remember, you know, the rest of it. I don't remember like, was she big for her age? But like, I don't, I don't know any of that because I was too young. So. <laughs> Um, how old is Snappy? She's 15. She's 15. No, he doesn't have to be a void too for them to all be voids, but I wouldn't be surprised if he was. I don't know. She always squeaked. No, Snappy has gotten a lot more vocal in her, in her old age. Sorry to call her old, but she, she never used to be as squeaky and as loud. Um, in the last like five or so years, she's gotten more squeaky and loud and especially, um, in the last like couple years, she's gotten more squeaky and loud. I think it partially has to do with her hearing being worse. Um, she's like getting more vocal as she can hear less, which makes sense to me. Um, 
but she's finding her voice. She's, yeah, she's doing great. <laughs> she's definitely gotten a lot more squeaky. She's gotten a lot more demanding too in the past couple years in the sense that like she'll sit on the couch and yell at you to brush her. And she, when like 10 years ago, she never would have done that. <laughs> but now that she's an only child or she was up until a couple months ago, she will literally sit on the couch and yell at you to brush her. It's so funny. I have to like warn people when they're coming over to my house because I, I give them the brush because I'm like, oh, she'll like you if you do this. But just so you know, she'll start yelling at you to keep brushing her. So like when Sasha and Steph came over, <laughs> Sasha, as soon as, cause she brushed her when she first met her. And for the rest of the weekend, Snap would go and sit on the edge of the couch and scream. Well, when Sasha would come in, she'd be like, oh, and then start screaming. Cause she knew that Sasha was going to brush her. <laughs> cause she had trained her into doing it. <laughs> so she knows, Snappy knows what she wants and she'll ask for it. She's good at it. <laughs> But anyway, I, I like to get people that come over to brush her because then, um, then she likes them and it's fun. Your cat will scream for food. Yeah, Snappy also screams for food. When I go downstairs in a couple minutes, she's gonna like start yelling at me for food. I'll go downstairs and she'll be waiting by her bowl and she'll start yelling as soon as I get in there. And then she'll follow me to the pantry to get the can and yeah. <laughs> but Snappy, she gets what she wants and she knows how to ask for it. I would brush Snap anytime. Snappy can train me to brush her. <laughs> Your dogs do that too. If you pet them and then stop, they will yell. Really? My parents' dogs, they don't yell if you stop brushing them. They're very quiet, but they will hit you. And not in like a, they don't mean to hit you, but they're just big. So they don't understand that like doing this <laughs> to, to put their paw on you with like not very graceful. It, it kind of, yeah, they kind of hit you. But what they mean to do is be like, oh no, pet me. But actually it's like, pet me. <laughs> and they slap you with their paw. <sighs> they don't mean any harm. They just don't know their own strength and power and they have very limited control of their limbs. <laughs> really, Amethyst, she's gotten more affectionate. That's interesting. Snappy has always been very affectionate, but she never used to be squeaky. And she is now. I love talking about pets. Thank you for letting me do this chat. This is really fun for me. I can sit here and talk about Snappy and her little silly quirks all day. So you learned recently that Babe can only turn in a counterclockwise direction. Really? <laughs> Doesn't know how to go the other way. Dogs are so funny. That's so funny. Oh my goodness. Okay, that is really precious. I think we probably should probably go and find someone to raid though, huh? Thank you guys again for hanging out. This has been, um, it has been a really good time and I literally could sit here all night, but I do have to feed the kittens. So <laughs> I do have to go and feed the kittens. Let me see maybe if someone is live that we could go and see playing Sims. That would be fun. Um, oh, I know. My friend, my friend Kipsy is live building a futuristic witch for a shell challenge. Some sort of cool futuristic witch house. I think that sounds like fun. Let's go watch it. I love that kind of thing. Okay, well, anyway, have a great rest of your night, you guys. Tomorrow we'll play some more of this. We'll, we'll play like actual Not So Berry though, so we can get some more money and then bring all of our stuff and move into the new house. And then we can put it on the gallery because we'll have all of our things to finish it completely. It's not quite done yet, but we don't have any money left. So <laughs> anyway, have a great rest of your night. Thank you again for hanging out um, and for letting me talk about cats because you know I love it. Happy Monday and I shall see you all tomorrow. Okay, everyone. Purple, Devil, Mag, Isabella, thank you for the subs. Okay, good night, everybody. Bye.